kill Tony. Here's Tony Hinchcliffe right there. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Here we are, another beautiful day, another fun episode of Kill Tony yes. coming at you. This is the real deal. We are streaming live. Brian Redban is here. We are in studio at the great Better Box Studios, and we are streaming live on YouTube.com slash Kill Tony. So that's a real thing. So go there and uh, watch it live sometimes. We're at Better Box Studios. We just ate a bunch of delicious Vito's pizza. Yeah. I look forward to it every week. Me too. It's unbelievable. What was that one you made today with the chicken and the peppers? Yeah, chicken serrano. Chicken serrano pizza. It had what felt like uh, some of that uh, Tabasco jalapeno type of serrano. Oh, so good. My goodness. Unbelievable. Um, go buy yourself a candle at damngoodco.com. Take a, get a candle. There's a bunch of good ones. Take a picture of the candle. Tag Kill Tony on Instagram on the stories, and we'll repost it. So that's exciting stuff. The candles are going like crazy. They, had, they actually almost ran out of their inventory this yeah. week. Send in the pictures. Send in the pictures. That's, what, that's the motto around here. Send in the pictures. The great Ryan J. Ebelt will be drawing. He is drawing. He's already probably already started. At least my guess is some type of a scribble is down on paper right now because he draws every episode. All the prints, posters of every episode of every show, including the road shows, are all available for sale at ryanjebelt.com. And he's having a massive sale yeah, right now. On sale. Everything's on sale. I have a bunch of Ryan J. Ebelt artwork all around my place. Brought a few of them here. Brought a couple of my favorites. That's my favorite Look at one that. right there. Classic. I got that right next to my red neon clock. I go, I go to the frame store. I, I ask the frame people for a nice frame, and they frame them nice. Spend an extra few bucks, then it looks great forever. It's like an adult thing that you never did, you know, until you grow up. Like you never think about framing something when you're a kid. Now it's the best part. Yeah. yeah. Now the, the the whole thing isn't complete until you go to the frame store. You take one of the little corner pieces. You match it up. You look at everything like a goddamn adult. Get your life framed, people. Get it together. Ah, oh boy. Bunch of Kill Tonys on the road we were supposed to be doing. We were supposed to be in Boston this past weekend, Miami, the weekend before that. Those all got rescheduled. It looks like right now, uh, July 31st and August 1st at the Miami Improv Combo Shows where Tony Hinchcliffe is headlining. Wow, that sounds exciting. I wonder what he'll be talking about that weekend. <laughs> and Kill Tony shows after all of those. Uh, the fun thing is that October, booming, man. Very exciting stuff. The Road to Kill Tony Mania in Sacramento's back October 14th, 15th, and Mania 16th, 17th, and 18th of October as of now. Also, Bakersfield is in there, right on the way. We might be doing a show in Bakersfield and then continuing on to Sacramento just straight through. I have a nice little short, maybe three and a half hour, four hour drive to Sacramento instead of a, that long one. Uh, yeah, Tacoma, Washington, October 30th and 31st, November 19th. Washington, D.C., and the 20th, and the 21st. Incredible. Blah, 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 blah. September 16th through the 19th, Moon Tower has been rescheduled for. That is beautiful um, Austin, Texas, and other fun stuff. I believe November is also uh, maybe Skankfest South. I don't know what's Something, going yeah. on. This is all. We'll all see. What would you do this week? Anything fun? Same. I got tested for corona today. I uh, got negative test results. Wow. Uh, that was fine. You're now now I kind of feel bad because I kind of wish I had it already and, you know, it was fine. <laughs> you know? Nothing's flattening your curves, my friend, <laughs> over there. I, I saw that you're, you've been mastering your uh, flight simulator program. Yep. Flying like a mother, just landing, uh, challenging myself. I, I fly like a pilot now. I score with pilots. That's great. I'm scoring better than pilots sometimes. Have you seen the, I guess, is it Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator? I don't know if it's out oh, yet. Yeah. The new one that's about to come out using Google Maps technology. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of them that are very, very, very realistic. I'm excited to see how that one um, comes out with the Google Maps thing. Because Google Maps doesn't even fucking work for me in real life. So I doubt really? it's going to work for me on <laughs> Flight Simulator. I what hate is? Google Maps. I hate Google Maps and I hate, uh, what's the one, Waze. I don't believe Waze. I you're, think Waze is like a you're, conspiracy. You're, you're funny because you're one of the few people I know that actually hate Google Maps and Waze, I but know. you love Apple Maps. I know. I love it. <laughs> I swear by Apple Maps because I know Apple Maps is wrong sometimes, but I can read when they're wrong. If Waze right. is wrong, you're fucked. Right. You're on a one-way fucking off course. You can't get back on. 
Waze is a bunch of, there's a bunch of pe drama people on there that are like, I just saw a police officer and there's an accident and they don't know where the shit is. They drop the pins in the wrong places. <laughs> in LA, I don't buy, I'm not into Waze. A bunch yeah. of morons out here with, with too much power. Waze gives the people power to decide where they think something's happening. I can't get into it. <laughs> and then you got all the people on Waze listening to the people on Waze and those people are all going the same direction. They're all, all right. <laughs> Look, let's let's be serious here. This is a serious time, and here's a message from our sponsor, Zip Recruiter. Uh, it's a big deal right now. Right now, we cannot be overwhelmed. We have to work. We have to keep our loved ones safe and protect our communities. We have to work to stay strong, to stay connected, to stay focused. We have to work to inspire, to innovate to build new solutions. But for all this to work, we have to work together. At ZipRecruiter, we connect employers and people every day. But today is different. We are partnering with first responders, government officials, the medical community, the innovators in the man manufacturing, transportation, and food distribution industries to make sure we are finding the right people for the right jobs right now. Let's work together. Let's work together indeed. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash work together. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash W-O-R-K-T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash work together. Okie dokie. Here we are. We're in tonight's episode. It has already begun. As with all of these quarantine episodes, no guests in studio. We are all practicing social distancing, just like you should all be doing the same at home. Uh, very exciting to announce that the band is here, though, all separated from us from what is considered by federal and state law to be a safe distance away from one another we are essential workers and these guys are an essential part of the team uh they every episode they commit to being different characters we never know what they're going to be they've been preparing around the corner here for 15 minutes saying do not come out whatever you do we are getting ready we don't know what they're going to be uh last week they were a couple weeks ago they were the cast of tiger king last week they were uh, a bunch of european tourists um so let's all find out what they are this week. Maybe it's the return of famous characters we've seen before. Maybe they're brand new like they have been the last couple weeks. Let's find out what they are. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Jesse Johnson, and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Whoa! Oh, hey, 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 hey. I know these guys. It's the gangsters. It's me, Tony. How are you? Oh, you're new. I haven't done that. I know these guys, but you, you're brand new. Look at this. Hello. How you doing, Tony? Hey, what's happening? Remind me your name. Vinny Mancino. This is my lovely mother to my right over here. Uh, Lucia. Uh, mother, say hello. Hello. Oh, it's an honor to be here. Thank you for having me, Vinny, on the show. <laughs> wow. I love Italian mothers so much. I was just talking to mine yesterday. Uh, well, uh, you call her? You yeah. called her yesterday. Yeah. You hear that? He, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't call you today. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. He's a great son. What's your name one more time? Lu Lucia. 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 Lucia Mencino. Yeah, you can call me mom. <laughs> okay, I'll call you mom. That's beautiful, Lucia. Welcome to the show, Vinny. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Where were we on the road last time I saw you? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, over in Vancouver a little bit. I uh, came mm -hmm. back to the States, uh, saw Tiffany Haddish here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was the last time I was with you guys. My goodness, that is incredible. I mean, I, I you know, you're one of the few characters on the show whose hairline gets more and more forward every time I see you. It's the Italian way! Hey, I love that. I love that. And back here, clearly, we have uh, one of the characters from Scarface. The name's Rocco Fantini, Tony. Rocco Fantini. Yeah, what? let me just say, the show starts on time when that Tiffany woman's not here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. yeah. I absolutely know what you're saying. Eight o'clock on the dot. And on, that's all I'm going to say. On the dot. Now, Rocco, remind me of something about you. Are you just a normal Italian guy? I don't say nothing. I don't see nothing. All right. All right. Don't <laughs> asking me no questions. All right. 
You guys look fantastic. I absolutely love I just love got my mom out of Italy so she could get here in the States. I don't think that's, that's exactly good, how good you're idea. supposed yeah. to do it. Yeah, I took her out of Italy. She's here with us now. Have nice you, and healthy and strong. Have you guys had any symptoms or anything like that? Though nothing more than the normal, but I, you know, I try to give him a hug. I try to give him a kiss. He says, no, the corona, I can't, mom. I can't. Yeah, it's a likely story. Oh. Won't even give his own mother a hug. You believe that? <laughs> Is that true, Vinny? No, nah, open mouth kisser right now. Hey, yeah, come on. <laughs> Did you get your mother out of Italy before you were born? Because she sounds like she grew up in Brooklyn, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco I, Fantini. I'm losing my mind. I... Throwing his. <laughs> Jeez. You keep my mother out of your mouth. I'm all trying. Right. To, I'm just trying we to got, throw the feds right. off. We you know what I'm Gage saying? We got Gage and Anthony in the booth. Uh, so what is it? Strange time underscore. Strange taste underscore. <laughs> Engage underscore Tiarina. T i j e r i n a. Tiarina. Uh, we have amazing Gino is uh, across the studio from us. We have the great Charlie from Vito's Pizza. Those are two good boys, Gino and Charlie. Uh, yeah, that's Vito's right. Pizza, yum. Yeah. <laughs> that is good, authentic pizza with my camera. That's know, right. We fucking love Vito's Pizza. It is absolutely incredible. If you're anywhere near the LA area, order Vito's. Um, Google it, Vito's Pizza. Exciting stuff. Shall we begin, ladies and gentlemen? What do you guys think? This, here we are in episode uh, episode number five of Quarantine Kill Tony. So here we go. Uh, we I have uh, I have no uh, no idea the people that are coming up. I actually do recognize a couple of the names, but I did not select them. Our good friends Gage and Anthony uh, go through the submissions each week and. Um, they have created a list. They have a bunch of sets that have been pre-recorded that we're going to listen to of what people have written. It's not really, you know, what, we're not. What's the email also? A lot of people have been asking me. Uh, it's uh, killtonyquarantine at gmail.com. Yep. There we That's go. right. So now you have it for next week. Um, and uh, yeah, so then we interview them afterwards, sort of like a normal episode of Kill Tony. But I would say that, you know, timing and pacing during the performance part doesn't really matter because it's almost impossible to measure what that would be like in front of a live audience so it's more like a sort of like a writing and speaking showcase i would say well let's get it started your first comedian a one word name this is going to be the comedy stylings of sam here he is sam everyone i'm currently the executive director at a nursing home during the coronavirus not ideal. Um, the building is a dementia certified unit. Dementia is sad, but it, it has some positives. I recently learned some new magic tricks. I do the trick and they're like, where'd the ball go? Where'd you come from? Another guy goes, hey, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. I'm going to find out if you're naughty or nice. So if I do two tricks, this guy's going to turn into Santa. Getting old isn't fun. My Instagram used to have uh, girls in bikinis. Now they're all married with kids, and it looks like I just follow babies. <laughs> I didn't always want to run a nursing home when I was 10. I wanted to be a truck driver, get paid, to see the country. Then I hit puberty. Still wanted to be a truck driver, get paid to masturbate. There you go. A minute. Sam. Indeed. Sam, how are you, my man? Doing good. Doing good. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Uh, where are you uh, talking to us from? Um, outside of Boston uh, on wow. the South Shore. Lovely. And what, what do you do again? You're a nurse or an executive what? Um, I'm an executive director at uh, a nursing home, so I, I run a uh, nursing home. Wow. That hey, is... can you take care yeah. of my mother for me over here? Hey, <laughs> come on. Don't do that. He brought his mother, Lucci, all the way from Italy here, but don't worry about her. She, we got her in good good company here. So you, uh, you are just outside of Boston. What are we talking about? Swansea? No, um, uh, nor north of that. Okay. Uh, good. So somewhere in between Boston and the Cape. Okay. Very good. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, what's it smurf like? Smurf village. You look like you have a, like a little Smurf house going on there. Yeah, there is. It's yeah, adorable. I, I, You're in your parents' attic. <laughs> no, I've been uh, our third bedroom. 
Ooh, Good right. to see you. I was wondering what the Mario Brothers were up to during the quarantine, you know? Yeah. Three bedrooms, you're making a lot of money uh, locking up all those old people, huh? <laughs> Ma, easy. <he's... laughs> so how, uh, let's get right into it. You're at, the, uh, you're at the nursing home. How many people are sick there? What's it like right now? Uh, uh, my building right now has has none. We uh, we got ahead of everything. Uh, it's been it's been a crazy uh, month and a half, but you know we're we're, we're trucking along. Uh, yeah. Every day is something new, but we're getting through it. Well, there you go. Have you ever done stand up comedy before? I did an, uh, an open mic uh, once this year, but I'd, I'd like to get on stage. The baby joke is great, man. That that made me Thank you very much. laugh out loud. That yeah, made us all laugh <laughs> out loud. You got a full studio laugh in. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, when did uh, when did you try it? Um, right before my thirtieth birthday in October. In October. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of this happened, but you didn't go yeah. back immediately. Did it go okay for you? Um, it was all right. It was a small crowd, but um, I, how long I of a felt, set did you do? Like yeah. five minutes? Uh, a little under that. But yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Where'd you do it at? It was great. Um, in Cambridge at the Middle East. Okay, that's a dangerous yeah. place to perform. A lot of people bomb in the Middle East. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on. It's hysterical. Wow. It's hysterical. Thank you. The mother loved it. Lucia loved my uh, Middle East bombing joke. Uh, they fun. be bombing. Do you ever try your material on the uh, old dementia ladies at your nursing home? Yeah, from time to time I do. Yeah, they laugh and then they forget they, what they were laughing at. <laughs> hey, forget about it. So uh, that's pretty hard, right? How long you been doing that for? Um, a few years. Yeah, uh, and you watch right. people go, right? When you form a bond with somebody, they slowly wither away, basically, right? I watch yeah. people go, yep. but in a different way, you know what I'm saying? Because he kills them. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was a tough job before this happened, and uh, now now we got our hands full. It's so wild that uh, that nobody's had it. It almost seems like at this point you're in the clear because you're not letting visitors into the nursing home or anything like that, right? Nobody can really come right. in and contaminate the place. Except him. Yeah, that's Like he that's could be the at the goal. gas station and uh, bring it in. I don't know. I trust this guy. This guy wore goggles and a mask for his 60 seconds. I yeah. trust this him. This guy looks yeah. like a sexy Can't Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. <laughs> There's a nursing home in Burbank that uh, somehow one person got in with it and gave it to, like, 12 people oh that's what <laughs> happens that's what happens those old people are yep. fucking like banshees you ever catch old people fucking at the nursing home uh yeah uh, don't you tell yeah. you rat yeah. hey, you no. freaking rat what, what did you see what what was going on in there what did it smell like uh, gold you, bonds you, you get a couple me. uh you get a couple people forming bonds um in their in their later years and um you, you get viagra and all all sorts of Say stuff it. <laughs> to keep it going they're answer. forming bonds you mean gold bonds this guy whispers his best jokes to me i already made a gold bond joke like two minutes this ago and... the most backwards fucking filter he says stuff out loud it's all right and meanwhile he whispers the funniest things at the perfect time he also whispered to me uh what do you call james bond in a nursing home bond gold bond how you doing what are we doing come on he whispered that to me where's joey no shoes i missed him oh my god what ethnicity are you, Sam? Uh, Lebanese. Oh, very good. The Italians yeah. and the Lebanese are very close. Yeah. No, very close. Italian light, you know? Nah, yeah, th there's a lot of respect between the two cultures. I know. It's, there uh, are. You know, different That's dressings. like Sarah that you met with my father. My father's She's lady. Lebanese. Lebanese as it gets. Yeah. That's a Lebanese Which woman. Which means right you now. like girls. No, that's lesbianese. <laughs> that's a different thing. Oh, okay. Lesbanon. <laughs> He's from Lesbanon. Yeah, Lesbanon. You know what I I don't know what you're talking about. It's a, it's a country for gay women. What are we going? All right, all right. Is that your bedroom? No, it's no he green uh, screen in the dorm room. I am. <laughs> you have three bedrooms yourself? Uh, I live with my wife. Who oh, is, uh, wow. She's, my she's wife. Bedroom. See, out there on the outskirts of Boston, you can have a fucking three-bedroom house with a normal job. Anywhere outside of L.A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's, wow. um, I made a little music room, and we have a kid coming, so. Oh, you have a kid coming. That's, that's. Yeah. Well, are you jerking oh, him off, or what? That is beautiful. <laughs> boy, boy, boy or girl? Don't know. Don't know. Wow. If it's a, it, you know, if, it, if it's a, if it's a son, maybe name him COVID. I don't know. That's a weird time to have a kid. Like, uh, are you, 
still able to go to like the nurses and doctors and get tests and shit that you usually have to get? I can't go, but uh, my wife can. Well, obviously, so they I, wouldn't I send you home. <laughs> that, yeah. You know, if you uh, when you have the how, when, when's the child coming? September. September. <laughs> yeah. Tony, Tony wants to see a kid come for the first time. Come on, what are we doing? Come on. I believe that. Uh, no, I just want to say that I do believe that we have a good uh, few options here. If you're looking for a godfather for your child, um, maybe right. Vinny or Rocco. Why? What, made, what makes you guys think? Uh, if you guys had to give a pitch on why you should be the godfather, what would be your pitch? Listen, I'm well connected. Uh, your, your, your son with me won't turn out to be a little, you know what I mean? He'll be a real guy, really give it to the ladies, you know Look, what I'm I'll make sure he doesn't hang out in the black neighborhood. That's hey, what I'm saying. That's there all. You go. I don't know. I'm giving this one to Rocco. What do you think, Sam? Uh, it's a close one. I, I think I'm going with <laughs> He didn't say no. this guy. He didn't say no. guy. You can keep your mouth shut. I love it. That is awesome. Anything else crazy we should know about you, Sam? About your life or your history? Were you born with webbed toes or anything like that? No, pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, I I worked for Aerosmith for a year uh, right out of college, which was uh which was pretty neat. They're they're kind of from around this area, so. Wow, uh, what you, uh, what you did put you put them in a nursing home? <laughs> 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 Yo, it's my Mars right there. Oh wow! What did you do with Aerosmith? I was an assistant engineer, so uh, kind of oh, like a gopher, but uh, you know, did did whatever I need to set up the studio every morning. Any good stories that you remember, like something crazy that happened? Um, it was just the every day was was pretty wild. Um, they were all really really nice guys. I worked face to face with them all day and. They, wow, that's, they worked that's, working face to face is hard. a scary way to work with Steven Tyler. <laughs> hey, you ever take a nap on those luscious lips of his? What are we talking about here? <laughs> what? Were you crying when his you met like him huge. and now you're trying to forget him? Uh, yes. That, that's Listen, you ever work with Bon Jovi? <laughs> no. Then I don't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My goodness. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, Sam, it was so nice to meet you. Very, very funny. Thank you very much. I, definitely, uh, definitely keep it up. And uh, when uh, this quarantine ends, go do some sets, man. You, you're, you're very uh, – you're the 60 seconds that you chose, very funny. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. There you go, Sam, everybody. It's Kill Tony <laughs> Okay, your next comedian goes by the name of Sarah Hefner, so let's watch a minute from Sarah Hefner. Here we go. Hey. Here's Sarah Hefner. So growing up as a redhead, ginger, you get name-called and bullied, yada yada, but you also get asked a million times, do the curtains match the drapes? And the answer is no, not really, because if they did, then I would have the hair of Annie putting a fork in a light socket. So, my drapes do not match the curtains. Um, I also always got hit on by black guys, which, I mean, it's whatever. Nothing weird, but... I think I've come to the conclusion why I got hit on by black guys more than white guys. And that's because if you rearrange gingers, you get... tried to stop you from doing that n-word <laughs> joke that was incredible yikes hello sarah how are you good how are y'all i can't quite Shit, oh, can you hear oh now, now now i can hear you hi oh. sarah how's it going hi good how are y'all good you have such an adorable country twang where are you um right outside of charlotte north carolina oh charlotte north carolina I absolutely do yeah. right by the speedway am i right yeah, pretty close. Yeah, no doubt about it. I can tell just from the dialect. Uh, that's awesome. What do you do for work out in Charlotte? 
I'm a pest control technician. Oh, business is booming out there. I got a couple really rats is. I need you to take care of for me, all right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Red Band's got an entire angry cat board in front of him. Your cat was very, very funny. Uh, we would like to give it uh, Your cat is yeah. the first ever golden ticket winner in the yeah, quarantine. Yeah. Does your cat uh, want to do the ice house? Uh, <laughs> just got booked at the mice, the mice house. house. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Fucking jinxed on it. Uh, so you have at least one cat. What's the dog back there? What's that scrappy little fellow? That's Kimber. I've got three cats and two dogs. Wow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You live by yourself? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. No, uh, no, no boyfriend or husband or anything like that? No, I'm happily divorced. Oh, how long were you married oh. for? Uh, right at two years. Two years. And how long have you been divorced for? Mm -hmm. Um, it was a year in January. Wow. So interesting. Yeah. Why, what, what made it, uh, what made it end? What happened there? Um, I grew up and he didn't. Right. He was just a lazy drunk yep. type of thing. Yeah. That happens. And can I just say, if, uh, if you want your curtains to match your drapes, I can punch you in the pussy real quick. Oh my God, Vinny. Vinny, where did you learn how to talk like that? I'm sorry, Ma, I forgot you were in my presence. In front of your own mother, unbelievable. He's um, a good boy, though. He's a good boy. So once you got divorced a year ago, what happened? Uh, what happened? With, did you start dating? Did you get out there, or did you just sort of lay low? Uh, I've only dated one guy last summer. I've just been too busy with my job, and like I just bought my house a couple months ago. So. Awesome. That guy that you met, yeah. where, what happened there? Did you meet him on a dating site or something, or just organically? Yeah, I met him on a dating site, and um, he ended up being a little Far cuckoo. Was it Farmers Only? No, Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> Why was he cuckoo? What was cuckoo about him? <laughs> um, so he was really big into conspiracy stuff, which was cool, but he like lived for it. He was very obsessed with it. Um, and then he broke up with me because I woke him up to a blowjob. And I disrespected him, is what he told me. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I don't know how to tell you this, but this guy was a little light in the loafers, if you know what I'm saying. Okay? Oh. If I've ever been woken up with a blowjob, I'm like... Hey, hey, you learn this, Vinny. Uh, your mind <laughs> forgot you're still here. Your mother's sitting Jeez. right next to you. You're gonna give me a broken heart. <laughs> oh insane. my god, you woke him up with a blowjob. Hey, wow, he must have thought like someone lit his lap on fire or something like that when he looked down and just <laughs> well, saw he your. The next... He waited till the next day to break up with me and told me I disrespected him. Oh, that's wow. even worse than. <laughs> That's even worse than anything. Did he wait? Let me ask you this: Did 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 he did he let you finish the blowjob? Well, we had sex after. Oh yeah. man, what? That means he was yeah. definitely yeah. something else is going on, right? Uh, I guess, and then he like ghosted me. So yeah, yeah there was somebody else. Was wow, yeah. that had probably... a better blowjob mouth. No, okay. Red Band, be nice. These people, don't judge her blowjob. No, I'm sure she's good. She's if... got one of those down south blowjobs. Those are, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, know. she gives redhead. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, Come on. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Blowjobs, fire. You'd think he would have liked it. It was an inside job. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't the first one, so I don't know. Wow. My God. This guy's personality is flatter than the earth. The curvature yeah. of the earth, because he's a conspiracy <laughs> theorist. Yeah, he should have said Eddie Bravo. <laughs> On a scale from one to a thousand, he gives that blowjob a nine eleven. You made one tower fall that day. <laughs> His penis. <laughs> Ma, why are you gotta explain it in front of my friend over here? Sorry, what I, are you doing? I forgot you were here, Vinny. I got jokes too. <laughs> I got jokes too. <laughs> Oh my You're god. You're a beautiful young lady. You could do so much better than Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's why I agree. You got that country style. You got a big ass house all to yourself. You look like Wendy? From the you, you the Wendy's girl? 
that makes Brian, you know, that's. that's... I've heard of, I've heard Brian Redman say a lot of things. This might be the fattest thing I've ever heard him say. Uh, it really is. It's incredible. He speaks. He speaks in food. He yeah. he weighs things out. He weighs things out on the McDonald's metric system. Hey, Wendy. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, what do you do for fun, Sarah? Um, well, I like to go to comedy shows, and I've been to a lot of UFC fights. I was supposed to be going to New York this weekend for 249, but... Yeah. I was so. at one point also supposed to go to New York this weekend for 249. Yeah, it's uh, very it, sad times. <laughs> yes, it is. What have you been doing in the quarantine to uh, keep yourself occupied? Well, I'm still working, um, so, but when I get home, I just, I've been playing Call of Duty, and... Oh, boy. Seems like a perfect girl. I know, this is incredible. <laughs> Red, Red Band is... Blow jobs at night and plays Call of Duty when she gets oh, off work. I mean, wait, no, though we're in the morning, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> but that's when Brian wakes up. <laughs> is that night? <laughs> <laughs> what is morning? Yeah, right. Good morning. It's 10 p.m. You can give Brian one of those wake-up blowjobs when you get home from work at 5:30. <laughs> that is incredible. So you uh, you you work with like bugs and rats and all that stuff like that. Have you ever found something that I mean, that's disgusting to me. Like, is it you don't care like uh, with dead rats everywhere and shit like that? Doesn't. Phase you. No, and I mostly deal with like new construction homes, so I don't really see too much. Like I see a snake here and there, or some termites, but wow. that's about it. That's incredible. Yeah. What's your le What's your least favorite pest? There must be something that makes you squirm a little bit, right? My least favorite pest well, is a bug. Spiders. Yeah. Right. You never get over <laughs> spiders. spiders. Yeah. yeah, you hate yeah, bugs hate because them. the FBI is bugging your place. You get it. There you go. I wanted to make sure that got out. I hate clean. spiders too. I knew a kid. I made him dance. I shot at his feet. It's a good fella's uh, joke card. Right. Yep. Absolutely. It is incredible what's going on with your dog back there. Has anyone ever told you your dog looks like an older version of Liam Neeson? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to take turns roasting the dog? Look at him. Oh, Look at that. Cute dog. No, I know. He's adorable. I said he looked like a human. That's like a compliment in dog world. We can't, we can't roast the dog more than the Chinese would. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey come on. <laughs> That is incredible. <laughs> anything else crazy about your life, Sarah? Any wacky hobbies that we'd be surprised to know or anything? Uh, you had a you had a parent that had a uh, one arm or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing crazy I can really think of. <laughs> interesting. Interesting yeah, I'm stuff. I'm a twin. That's about it. Oh, oh right. so there's a sister out there or a brother? Sister. Wow, we don't like sisters or brothers in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, God, Rocco, <laughs> you're so racist. Uh, and you guys are identical twins? No, the only thing we have in common is our red hair. You guys both have red hair? Yeah. Wow. I look like my mom, she looks like my dad. Oh, that's like her. She has a mustache and a nice dick. <laughs> Adam's apple. <laughs> My goodness. So, Sarah, you ever do a stand-up comedy before? No, I haven't. Um, I mean, I've just been listening like to this podcast religiously for the past year and have kind of been thinking of things here and there. And there's not a lot of stand-up around Charlotte or Gastonia, so. That is true. Charlotte has the comedy zone inside that hotel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. inside the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is a Mexican restaurant, sort of, isn't it? It's like a haunted yeah, house absolutely. vibe. Everything goes black, yeah. and it's all, it gets all like, Ooh, welcome to the comedy zone. Uh, I always, everything oh, goes black, that's when I get out of there. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> Rocco, you're out of control. All right. Do you have any other crazy redhead traits? Is uh, you, have, you have, like, a lower tolerance for pain or anything like that? Yeah. 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 Huh. <laughs> Lower tolerance to pain, and then like the dentist, they always have to use extra numbing uh, oh. for cavities or when I got a root canal and all that fun stuff. Damn right. My well, sister's the same way too. 
I love it. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for uh, participating, and uh, you were so much fun to interview, and I loved the cat and the falling off, and you're, you're, you're taking a chance on an N-word joke. Hard to, hard to pull <laughs> off, but uh, you and the cat as a tag team did it together. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Sarah Hefner, everybody. Bye, Sarah. She's on social media, at gingers underscore anatomy. That's gingers underscore anatomy. Wow. She has to have a media. deep secret, right? <laughs> like, is that what you call it? A secret? I mean, that thing is deep for she's sure. Waking up guys with blowjobs and playing Call of Duty and he breaks up with her? What the fuck? Nah, it's not... like, there's just that area, man. It's like people, you know, I don't know. It's a bunch of tough guys around there, just like, oh, man, I can never get a girl like that to love me. You know what I mean? Like, either right. they don't have the confidence <laughs> right. for a girl like that, or they think they're better, maybe, than a girl like that, which they're probably not. Because right. everybody in that area, it's, like, all about blondes, like, blonde bimbos. You know, not for everybody, obviously, but, you know, like the stereotype of like, oh, that's what I want. I want the ca cheerleading captain. And she doesn't look like the cheerleading captain. She looks like, you know, the hot chick at Hogwarts or something like that. <laughs> what are you thinking, Vinny? Am I going on too long for you? What the hell's wrong with the blonde bimbo, huh? Oh, hey, I mean, I don't know if that's what you're into. I'll tell you what's wrong with the blonde. You're hey. not going to bring home a daughter to Mom, me. Mom, how many times do I got to tell you? They're not whores. They're girlfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it later. All right. We have a regular on this show. We have three of them, actually. We're going to talk to them tonight, starting right now. We have the great David Lucas on the line. David. David Lucas. Yeah. Hi, David. How's it going, man? What up, dog? What's up? How's it going, dude? What's shaking out there? The lowest angle in the, in the West. <laughs> <laughs> oh Tony, I heard yesterday you went Easter dick hunting. Oh wait, why? <laughs> why would I go Easter dick hunting? How did you find you out about find... that? <laughs> yeah, I took them and I put them all in my booty hole Easter basket. <laughs> <laughs> you had dildo shaped peeps. I love it. Yeah, no, yesterday must have been different. Not so different from you than every other day, because you're always looking for eggs that you've left around your house. Because <laughs> you're o you overweight. Color no eggs. You, you colored your dick. That's true. I colored my dick, you and then I somebody diet. say colored. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all on, on a pizza restaurant? That's Rocco on the drums. He's a little bit racist. Oh uh, yeah. What did you do to celebrate uh, Easter? Did you do anything? Did you eat some ham? What did you do? Nah, you know, eat no uh, meat, bro. I fucking took some uh, CBD edibles. Turn your phone sideways. Yeah, what, what do you do? Yeah, oh, yeah, buddy. yeah, there it is. Some what was you doing before? It's just ver It was vertical and bad. Now it's good. Uh, you yeah, had yeah, I took some CBD edibles. Wow. How did you get them from Speedweed? Nah, uh, my sponsor, Elevate. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, and yeah. uh, how how much edibles are we talking about? Are we talking about? I think it was like um, 100 milligrams. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Dude. That's but a lot. You, oh, that's, that's why I'm on cloud nine. Nah, CBD, that's yeah. a lot. But for your weight, that's not that much. You're on cloud <laughs> nine. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Filled with helium. Yeah, yeah. What'd you do for Easter, Tony? Nothing. Uh, drove you, out you to the ocean. Yeah, no, I, of course. I actually wake up in my Easter suit. I have a tradition where I put my <laughs> Easter suit on the night before, before I go to bed. It's filled. I got dick holes and booty holes hanging out of uh, my pocket. It's just, I have an array of dildos and booty holes, and um, and I have a dildo Tony candy cane. Tony got fucked by a nigga in a rabbit suit. <laughs> Wait, what? You just lying now? That's, that's... I said Tony got fucked by a nigga in a rabbit suit. All right. Yeah, they hurt more the second time you yeah. said it. I'm going to be honest. I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> but I can't. I guess Tony is bifurious. You know what I'm saying? That's true. I am. I like to hop around every once in a while. Uh, so you've been walking Jer a lot. Of Jeremiah looked like he invented uh, breadsticks. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like you ate them on your fat oh! Oh, whoa. These Italians don't take hey, it easy. Hey. 
Hey, get your deep dish pizza smelling ass up out of here. I take that get as your, a compliment. Yo, you get your deep dish ass smelling out of here. You can see like fat chicks. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I've been watching you on Instagram. You've been walking a, a lot. You've been walking miles and miles and miles every single day. Uh, do you have a scale Hell at your yeah, apartment? Bro. Nah, bro. I just measure by how my clothes fit. They're getting big on me. You go to the truck stop. Oh, wow. They're Who said big. that? They red Red Band band that red... Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> yeah. Red Band got you on that one out of nowhere. Oh, come on. Red Band, if you don't shut your goddamn hairbrush built body ass up. <laughs> hairbrush. <laughs> built. You know how hairbrushes be big up top, they're skinny oh. at the bottom. <laughs> I like that one. I red always band, like it. Hair red band <laughs> shape. Red huh? band shape like a bag of blood. <laughs> <laughs> bag of blood. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Man. Red crossbody ass. Oh my god. Wow. So you you don't have a scale. You're measuring yourself. You're, you you said that you're probably losing weight by how your clothes fit. Your clothes are getting yeah. bigger. Yeah. So so when I um started exercising before, like a year and a half, two years ago, I focused too much on weight loss. So now I'm just focusing more on being healthy and doing healthier things, making uh, healthier choices. So I'm not like I'm focused on being healthier and then the weight loss will be a byproduct of me being healthier instead of just strictly focusing on the weight. On your Instagram yesterday, I saw two little pots of macaroni and cheese in the oven. Were those both for you? No, nigga. I got a brother who needs to eat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> when you say brother, what are you talking about? He's already black, Rocco. It doesn't matter. That's the, twice as bad. Right. <laughs> that's a double homicide. Yeah, man. You got a brother that's Shut a brother? Shut your cilantro smelling ass. His cilantro brother... pizza eating ass up. Oh, my goodness. You're out of control. <laughs> You've been roasting people, uh, I believe, daily on Instagram. You and I went at it pretty Bro, wildly the other night. Yes, oh, yeah. that was pretty dope, man. Yeah, I was, I was zonked out of my mind. And we sang a few songs mind. together. I'm smoking so much pot as of late. It's, uh, I say that like an undercover cop. We did some, <laughs> we did some audio slave. Yeah, we were singing. Oh, I was, whoa, 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 whoa. I was out of control. In your house, I told him I, to be. I told him the other night he puts the slave in audio slave. <laughs> <laughs> Solid joke. Thank you. Yeah, Any, it was decent, man, Tony. Any, anything else crazy in life happening, David? What else is shaking? Anything on the horizon or anything like that? Tony, you put the A in gay. Oh, come on. Hey! <laughs> you put the Y in gay. <laughs> All right, well. Your parents are healthy. You can't and... spell Tony without spelling booty hole. That's not true. <laughs> Yo, that's a fact. That he booted up. <laughs> that's, that's not true. Either way you say it, that's just simply not true. There's no N in booty hole. Hey, there's no, hey, there's no N anywhere near me. I'll hey. tell you that. Do, do your gay fact checker online. Dickopedia, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. David. I'm sure uh, if you take Tony Hinchcliffe with your middle name, you can get KY Jelly out of that. Oh, my God. You put the jelly in KY yeah. Jelly. <laughs> he puts the peanut butter. <laughs> All right. He puts the cocoa butter in the basket. Or else it gets the hose again. All right. right. Hose is spelled Every, H O. Get out of my neighborhood. All right. Everybody healthy, dog. My daughter told me that she hates the coronavirus. Ah, that's so cute. How old's your daughter again? Twenty-seven. Five. They don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Under they don't understand being quarantined. That is adorable. That is adorable. Brian, don't ever do the voice of a black woman again. Never again. Right, automatic, automatic, non. Looks like that table wine is kicking in. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag table wine. Somebody call Bill Maher because we have a new rule around here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
what do you think about that thing that happened this week uh, with Bill Maher saying that uh, we should totally be allowed to call it the China virus? Uh, you think that's allowed, uh, David Lucas? It's always interesting. You're you're the rare black uh, conservative leaning comedian that I know. I mean, bro, they did call the Spanish flu the Spanish flu when Ebola dropped. Uh, they were. Did you see how hard they were hitting Africa about that's where it came from? Hell yeah. And, and then over there in China, bro, they fucking kicking Africans out. Yep. And beating them and shit. So it's like, man, call that shit the Chinese flu, dog. Damn right. Yeah, I agree. Fuck that. Uh, guess we have more in common with the Chinese than just pasta. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, nah, right. Joe, that ain't it, dog. <laughs> Well, that David, is. you look great, man. You're <laughs> glowing. I don't know what's going on there. Thanks, you, bro. Some, something's happening. You swallowed a fucking a candle like a jack-o'-lantern. All right. You're smiling. <laughs> you finally seem like you're all caught up and rested since that crazy trip to New York and Atlanta and all that stuff. You're out there oh, flying. Oh, man. Yes, dog. <laughs> no, but for real, though, dog, like when I got back from New York, I was just on edge for like 15, 16 days because every time I felt a little something different in my body. I'm like, oh, shit, that's it. You know, and I didn't want to be responsible for fucking killing my mom. So there was a lot of stress going on coming back from there. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Absolutely, Can you imagine being on edge for two weeks? Yeah. No, it's been crazy. Edge of the seat? Anyway. All right, David, you're the man. (laughs) Thank you so much. Everybody follow David Lucas Funny on uh, social media, and uh, he roasts people every day on Instagram. David Lucas, everyone. There he goes. All right. Uh, Fun stuff. So let's just keep it moving along, everyone. Our next comedian uh, goes by the name of Omar Cherkayawi. Omar Cherkow. Hey, here's Omar. Hi, my name is Omar. I'm from Morocco. And yeah, man, this corona shit, it's been tough. It's been a tough couple of weeks on everybody. I've been in self-isolation now for about six, seven years. <laughs> this is nothing new. I've been doing this shit. <laughs> If anything else, it's a little bit funny to me how people cannot wait to leave their houses and it's only been a month. And I just realized I rarely leave this room. How is that for social distancing, huh? That is peak social distancing. You know, it's like that movie Inception, A Dream Within a Dream. This is self-isolation within self-isolation. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a master at it yet. You know, I'm trying to get into that third level. You know, a dream within a dream within a dream. I got the apartment, the room. And all I can see is that closet in my room. Maybe I'll be living in there for a while, huh? <laughs> Although that's a little bit unorthodox. Wow, Omar Cherkawi. Hell yeah. All right, Omar, hello. You're in uh, Morocco, huh? Yes, sir. Heck yeah! I always I'm from love Morocco. it. I love it yeah. when uh, when we're when we talk to people from around the world. That's what uh, a lot of the listeners have been saying. They want to hear more Rocco this episode. <laughs> Rocco. You're Rocco. I know, Rocco but it's in Morocco. North Africa, and I can't get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he has on the wall, though. He's got some Godfather. He's got the Godfather. Yeah. He's got the oh, Lakers. Yeah, I love that. that is very nice. Half of it's good. Yo, Vinny. Uh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, that's a great poster. I like that a lot. Man? Can you take your hat off real quick? Why? Rocco wants you to take your hat off. Wow, Eric Griffin looks great. Hey, Wait hey, for the hey, Eric Griffin. Griffin with Griffin, yeah. All right, that's enough. Less is more, guys. Less is more. Yeah, tell that to your face. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That literally doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, Are right. you working algebra problems out there on your whiteboard? What's going on back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm a teacher. I teach uh, civil engineering. And uh, now with the corona, I, uh, you know, I record the lessons and I send them to students. Wow, that's so cool. This is what teachers are like in Morocco. You'd be a student here in America. <laughs> there you're a civil engineering teacher. 
Are you really a Lakers fan, yeah. or like why the Lakers? Uh, I used to um, the first uh, the first uh, basketball related stuff I watched was Kobe, and uh, from that moment on, I was like a Lakers fan. Ah, heck yeah. Interesting stuff. I live 15 minutes away from uh, Staples Center, and I'm not even a Lakers fan. It's incredible that you, on the other side of the world, yeah. Are you a basketball fan at all? Yeah. Sorry. Yes, I. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. He is. What's the main sport there, though? Right, soccer. Right. Yes, football. Football, not soccer. Right. Yeah, of course. Football. Indeed. Do you play any sports? I used to play basketball, but I am too short for it. How about hobbies? What do you do for fun nowadays? I just uh, I just watch movies, you know, uh, Netflix and stuff, series. I watched recently, uh, the first time uh, I watched uh, Taxi Driver, and I got some weird vibes from it uh, because it looks like the Joker, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, uh -huh. and it's uh, weirded me out. It was... Uh, it was weird. Well, Don't you see like the resemblance between the taxi driver and uh, the Joker of Walking Penis? Without a doubt, yes. That uh, there's 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 sort of a method behind that. The the current Joker was based loosely based off of Martin Scorsese's uh, the comedian movie. Was that it? Mm -hmm. uh, King of Comedy. No, no, King no, no, of no. Comedy, and that was made uh, by Scorsese. Yeah. Right after or before he made Taxi Driver. So it's all right there within the same realm. Oh, so you're a teacher in Morocco, but if you come to New York, you're going to be a taxi driver. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't it, think so. I speak English. You just got word from the listeners that now they want less Rocco instead of more <laughs> Rocco. You could move to less Rocco. He's breaking your balls, Rocco. It's all right, man. Interesting. So you have a wedding can ring I, on your left. I... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, Can I just say, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Lucia, how you doing? I'm hey. sorry, Vinny. I'm sorry, Vinny. You better watch your mouth, all right? My husband's a very <laughs> powerful man. <laughs> your husband's still alive? Yes, yes. Uh, he's alive in our hearts. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> how long ago did he pass away? It feels like an eternity. I... <laughs> I couldn't say my heart is so broken. <laughs> Your heart is so broken. You can't say she wings. came from the funeral, obviously. <laughs> yes, wow. too soon, too soon. How, how did he die? Can you tell me how he died? You, even though you don't know when, can you tell me how? It, yes, it was a, um, it was an accident. <laughs> Ma, how are you not remembering our pop's day? I of, said too much. I said too what much. What kind already. of accident was it? Let's what? just say it was a slip. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got your answer now. Let's move on. I want to <laughs> break the third wall right now. I wish we had a red laser to go on Jesse's. First head. of all, it's a fourth wall, you moron! <laughs> <laughs> You're a moron! <laughs> it's Look a third wall here, you idiot! <laughs> okay, Look what okay. you're doing third to my wall, family! Fourth wall, who gives a shit? All right. We still got Omar with us, everyone. Uh, so, Omar, yes. I noticed that you had a ring on your left hand on the ring finger, on the wedding ring finger in your video, but that's not on there now. What's up with that? Did you get divorced? Yes. It's just one week. <laughs> no, no. I don't know why I, 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 uh, I did it in the, in the left hand. I don't know why. Okay. All right. Yes. Interesting stuff. Now, I, I found uh, I found your set to be interesting because you're from Morocco, but really almost, and I loved, I appreciated the hell out of the incredible subtitles. Very oh, yeah. well produced video. Yes, thank very you. well cut. That is so appreciated. Yeah. Especially Bravo. for like the, having thank to do you. this. That's way better to see the subtitles and actually see images and stuff like that. It helps. However, because, I'll, because I, I will. Figured... I, I will say, maybe you wouldn't <laughs> understand the accent. This is my favorite joke. We are just the perfect distance, uh, just the right amount of delay for us both to keep tying at the exact same time. Um, the production was incredible. Everything was great. Uh, however, your 60 seconds was literally about as funny as the coronavirus. <laughs> Rocco, what's going on back there? I have allergies. All right, I'm sorry. All right.
Um, is stand-up comedy popular there in Morocco? No, not at all. I don't think so. It actually works. Uh, it's reverse. You know, you get famous first from a sketch or something, then you do stand-up, you know. You gotcha. don't work your way. Any, so, go ahead. How's Corona doing there? Like, is it, is it pretty bad there? Or? Actually, actually, Morocco was one of the first countries to, to like, apply quarantine and self-isolation. Now we have uh, 1,000, I think, 800 cases. 150 recovered, 150 died, but uh, yeah, it's not when that was bad, that? but also when did we the have to be responsible. When, when did the quarantine start there, the lockdown? Do you remember about? I think I think a, a month ago. Right. Yeah. See, yes. that's the interesting thing is a lot of these places, like, they'll say, like, you know, we were the first, we attacked it early on, then you find out, like, it was all basically the same time. It's just U.S. media likes to tell the story of us doing things extremely late and uh like we were unprepared for this like anyone knew what was coming omar i got a question for you You said it, it's reverse in morocco now do you have any examples of comedians that actually did that path because i've never heard of that before just curious not not from morocco for example uh gabi Mali. you know gabi Mali? yeah he yes. did the yes yeah. he's moroccan actually you know that Wow. I didn't actually. He's got that Russell yeah, Peters yeah. thing going on. He's from one place, but people think he's from another place. I don't trust those people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's Moroccan, you know, he, he was here and he is doing it in reverse mm -hmm. in the USA. Well, Heck yeah. Anything else crazy we should know about you? Anything insane? I, I don't know. You said that the, the, the set was bad, so I bombed, right? <laughs> Mission accomplished. I bond on something American. Eh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really, you know, I don't really <laughs> consider it bombing if you're 60 seconds. This is a special, these are very special episodes. If there was an audience out there sitting quietly, awkwardly laughing at your setups once one, they realized one joke was over, I think that's really bombing. I think there's just sort of like not, being that funny on this version of this show and i think that's exactly what you fell into but if you want if you're honored by the thought of you bombing on an american show then my friend <laughs> you really did it here tonight <laughs> you really sucked yeah, just, it to uh, us i take uh, i take the, uh, the the bombing joke away from you yes, i did it first indeed so mission accomplished but it's that kind of mission accomplished like when george w bush stood in front of the sign that said mission accomplished and then we stayed at war with that country for another decade it's that kind of mission accomplished yeah that's awesome bad, right? there he goes Our omar thank you so much omar Cherkawi, everyone C-H-E-R-K-A-O-U-I-O-M-A-R-R -O -O -R -R on social media, at Cherkawi Omar with an extra R. The band killing it. Here he goes. He's going to... This is that part every episode where Jeremiah learns a song in front of us, everyone. Here we go. It's the part that the people have been asking for. They're like, we want more of that. Your next comedian goes by the name of Matt Burrink. Matt Burrink, everyone. Here we go. Here's another song. <laughs> What's the song for? <laughs> Here it is, a minute from Matt Burrink, starting now. I don't believe in conspiracy theories, but I do find it strange that a lot of notorious murderers throughout history have three names, like... John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald, John Wayne Gacy, Hillary Rodham Clinton. I went on a blind date with a mortician. It went really well. She told me that she doesn't date very much because being a mortician tends to creep people out. But that didn't bother me at all because she was funny, smart, very attractive, stunning red hair, pretty much my type. But I did have to ask her if she was a mortician and single, do the coffin match the drapes? I texted her for a second date, but she ghosted me. Typical mortician. Uh, after this pandemic stuff is over, thinking about starting a new career, I want to open a fondue restaurant called Dipshits. 
Thanks, everybody. Take care. Matt Burring. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Ryan J. Ebelt poster right that there. That is so cool. What's that one from? I remember that. What is that? Summer tour? Uh, yeah, Seattle. Wow, that's so cool. And that's where you are? Yep. Heck yeah, looking like you're working under behind the Pikes Place fish market, throwing fish at people. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work, Matt? Well, I'm a goddamn hero. I work at Trader Joe's. Yes, oh, an American hero that. indeed. <laughs> it's Heck a good yeah. Italian guy right there. Came over from Italy, started a company over here, blew up. That's true. They yeah. have their Italian line of food, Trader Giotto's. Oh, I'm very Trader familiar. Trader Giotto's. Great That's mini right. tacos. That's right. Great mini tacos, according yeah. to Red Band. How many of those mini tacos can you eat? I think four to six is a good one. Forty-six. Forty-six. <laughs> And how many McDonald's about, about is that? three hamburgers high? Right, about eight quarter pounders worth of. Uh, Have you had those mini tacos at? No. Great. Favorite Italian dish. <laughs> I love it, Matt. How long you been at uh, Trader Joe's? Uh, about two years now. Nice. And you do like everybody sort of does everything there, right? Yeah, include get coronavirus. You, did people gotten it to your location? Not at our location, but I'm expecting it any day now. I'm sure it's going to happen. Interesting. What makes you think that? You smoke a little bit of marijuana every once in a while? No, I'm actually straight edge. Oh, wow. Are you holding a baby rattle right now? <laughs> you know, he plays with rattlesnakes. <laughs> I don't think so. It's like a little rattling noise. It's the beard oh, rustling the microphone. That's what it is. Oh. It's the beard hitting oh. the mic. I'll hold it down. Real question. Do they make you cover up the beard in its entirety while you're at Trader Giotto's? Gelatos. Well, right now we have to wear face masks, so I'm just wearing a bandana that covers the whole thing. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Heck yeah. Look at you. Just a real tough guy in that Trader Joe's. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You ever, uh, you ever have to kick anybody out or uh, any trouble ever go down at the Trader Joe's while you're there? I mean, I personally don't have to do that, but it happens pretty often. You know, I almost bled People out going at a crazy Trader in the Joe's. Bathrooms. Oh, yeah, Tony almost died at a Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost, oh, wow. I, I bled like a stuck pig at a Trader Joe's probably less than a year ago. A crazy kombucha accident. I think I've talked about it on this show, right? Oh, you have. <laughs> It would have been the gayest way to die. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. They tried to call an ambulance. So like, we have to call an ambulance. I'm like, you do not. I started running. That's a real, that's a real hinge clip right there. Yeah. You do not. I got up and started sprinting oh away with an open wound. <laughs> Can you imagine the write-up on TMZ or whatever? Oh. Tony Hinchcliffe let fellow comedian die from a kabucha at Trader Joe's. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're not supposed to drink those rectally. Oh, oh, you oh, son of a bitch. Are you coming to my boy Anthony now? What are we doing? Son here? of a huh? bitch. That's why they call it kombucha. Everybody. <laughs> Only when Tony drinks it. <laughs> hey, hey. Yo. Okay. Hey, but seriously, thank you for working during this time. I feel really bad for all the grocery store people. Yeah. Like, like at my local grocery store, I'm like, how are they working in this situation? Do you right. guys have, like, do you think. Going to the grocery store is safe uh, while working at one, or do you see stuff like you're like, oh, I wouldn't, I shouldn't be here right now. I mean, I can only speak to my store, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. We we limit the amount of people that can come into the store, right? So that's kind of nice. We we're cleaning constantly. How many constantly. quarter pounders worth of people are allowed <laughs> in the store at once? No, I'm kidding. Uh, so uh, fun stuff. I liked your set. You know, when you do uh, Thanks. when you do. You know, they they say that there's a rule of three. I don't really agree with it, but you know, you did a joke with four things, and the fourth was Hillary Rodham Clinton. And even though, even though though you're right, there are those criminals with three names. I still sort of would say that you could just do Hillary Rodham Clinton third and get to it a little bit quicker and get Thank out you, because that all makes sense. <laughs> But uh, oh, was yeah, that, that makes the sense. president? I'd also the say president? maybe uh, yeah. check those jokes on Twitter because I've seen a few of those before. I'm not saying you took them, but like sometimes when you talk about current events, you're gonna run the risk of finding other people that have also like what? Made those. Like which one sounded? Familiar? The Hillary Rodham oh. one, the the mortician one being ghosted by a mortician. You similar sort of thought. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. It happens. You're 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 a newbie. It takes you know. 
when you when people are just starting out, they try to they try to make people laugh. They try to do things that uh, you know feel like it the stuff that they've heard and they don't really know it. But as you do yeah. it more and more often, have you ever done stand up in front of an audience? Just one time, I killed Tony in Seattle. I knew it. I think we've heard those oh. jokes before because we've heard him before. Because oh. I thought I heard those jokes before too. But did you do the similar no, jokes? I no, I did a joke about a guy shitting in 24 hour fitness uh, shower. Oh, yeah. See, now that's a new joke. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> that's a new joke. I painted that joke. Wow. <laughs> that's interesting. Were you on the early show or the late show there in uh, Seattle? I was on the late show with The Last Comedian. Were you the Southern Bells on that one, I do believe? Or we were was the that... Newsies. Yeah, oh. Newsies, yep. Ah, fun, fun, It was fun. great. Heck yeah. Matt, what else about your life should we know about? I mean, not much. Uh, I mean, last time we talked, uh, I was living in my truck. Mm -hmm. And now I actually got a place to live. That's great. Oh, cool. How'd you manage that? Uh, I knew some people that had a room for rent, so figured get a room during this pandemic. That's probably a smart. Yeah, for sure. What are those books behind you? What kind of books are you reading? Those right are now? albums. No, uh, right well, there. there's some, oh, there's some records. I'm reading Mark Good Twain, books. um, a biography about Malcolm X and then a, a book about the making of do the right thing. What do you think about him having a biography biography of Malcolm oh. X? It, it it sounds like he's trying to date a black chick. Have <laughs> you ever fucked a black girl? No. No. But Guys, I'm open to it. Whoa, yeah, look at tell. that. Well, let's not be so uh, too hasty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that's fun. Well, Matt, congratulations. Your second time on Kill Tony. That's fun. Yeah. If you uh what's it's your love what is your love life like nowadays? Uh, it's been a while. Listen, he just like moved me. out of the truck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, give me some time. That's true. How long have you been out of the truck now? Uh, since January. All right. Well, yeah, we're getting there. It's almost that time. Yeah. Once this quarantine's over, we got to get you out there. Get the mask off yeah. and, uh, have some girl uh, wake you up with a redheaded blowjob or something like that. <laughs> and if you're waiting for a black chick, it's going to be a while. All right. Yeah, can you connect me to her? Yeah. Yeah, what's her uh no, yeah, we have that you can go to the website, plentyofblacks.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh anyway, there goes Matt Burring. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Instagram at Von Burring, all one word. And look at this. We are joined by the man goblin himself, the one and only William Montgomery, streaming live right now. Hello, William. How are you? How's it going? I'm giving blowjobs on blackpeoplemeet.com. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, no, just kidding. Hey, Red Band, sorry I missed your black party, uh, Panther party last night. I was DJing a homeschool prom. Um, I'm have, uh, having trouble sleeping these days, so I downloaded a white noise app, and it just ended up being the Th Seinfeld theme song. Uh, one thing I've learned during this quarantine is that I'm not actually allergic to cats. I guess it all depends on how you cook them. Uh, hey, Tony, does all this mean we're going to have to wait uh, two more months for another Medea movie? No, but seriously, I was actually looking at Wikipedia. Medea's criminal record is extensive. <laughs> there it is, William Montgomery, everyone. A new minute from William. There you go. Wow. I would say that that white noise Seinfeld joke is uh, the real first joke of the night, almost basically, sort of. That's a real professionally written joke. Wait, Red Band is informing me that he wrote the same joke this week. Red Band wrote a new joke, yeah. and it just so happens to be the same one that you wrote, William. Yeah, I posted it. Yeah, Instagram I bet story. his pussy ass did. I posted it. 
Oh my I posted God. an Instagram story where it was just my backyard at night and it was completely quiet. And I put, I just put white noise, you know, like, uh -huh. and then I thought, oh yeah, white noise. Cause Ruby you know, there's shut not the helicopters fuck up, and gunshots. And, all right. Ruby, right. And shut the fuck up. You dude. saw my fucking Instagram story. Well, you because see this you shit around my eyes? I'm in Morocco right now. Where'd you write it how, down at on paper or? How was the mini tacos that you had the other <laughs> night? Yeah, they were pretty good. I can't believe you didn't let me in your fucking place. Are you guys having your own Bitch. podcast right now? Is this uh, Brothers of Cursive? Uh, All right, well, we say brothers. I love it. Um, so. How are, how are y'all doing? William, we're doing good. Is that eye makeup you're wearing? Yeah, take a look. No, yeah, I've seen it the whole time. It, do it doesn't work as well if you close your eyes, by the way. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that? look at that. Took Who me did two that hours to you? To put on. Who did huh? that to you? Who did that to you? I'm currently in Morocco right now. A nice lady named Teresa Sanchez. Uh, hell of a lady. We were. Let's see her. Uh, having. She's not here right now. <laughs> she's sitting across from me on the couch. She's not here right now. Yeah, Just she's a right. Super nice lady, Teresa. Just spin the phone around real quick. There's nobody on the other side. Of Just me. spin it around. There's nobody on the other right side. Right now, well. William, you have three seconds or else you're no longer a regular on this show. One, two, How do I spin it around? three. Just I don't turn it around. around. Just turn it. <laughs> it's it in your around. fucking hand. Turn it. You're waiting what for her to leave what the room. What button do I press? You don't need to press a button. Just turn it. What button do I press? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, there's You no son one. of a bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. William, what have you been doing to pass the time this week? Any new hobbies in the quarantine? Uh, I've been watching a bunch of uh Who is the guy who was in all of the uh He was in that movie where he's a, a detective back in the past, a big rock almost hits him at one point, Indiana Jones. I've been watching a bunch of Harrison Ford movies. Wow. You yeah. thought he was a detective? <laughs> that is a weird <laughs> That is one of the most bizarre actors to watch all of his movies. A, basically, you know, a good actor, but sort of a mainstream sellout, I would sort of say, right? Like, I mean, not really considered a great actor, more of an action type what are you of... talking about? He's great for He's a little boy. <laughs> what's your favorite? Yeah, what's, what's his most amazing acting? His most amazing acting? Yeah. Well, I, I think Indiana Jones is really good. Okay. So, I mean, Star Wars, the fugitive. Mandarin. Definitely not Star <laughs> Wars because he wasn't in The Mandalorian. <laughs> right. Uh, the Mandarin. The You're Mandarin. the best show in this world. <laughs> You're saying that Harrison Ford is an amazing actor. Yeah, he's obviously a great actor. Like, you could put him in any movie and be way better than most actors. Could you put him in Forrest Gump? No. You couldn't put him in Forrest Gump. He's not that type of actor. Forrest That's why I'm saying he's him. not that, that great of an actor. Blade Runner. He's like an action actor. The Fugitive. Fugitive's a great movie. Well, lies beneath. Ooh. Ooh. Did you know That's that one, Vinny? Yeah, you've Air never Force seen Force What one. Lies Beneath? It's been a long time. Patriot Games. Fear and Present I'm Danger. Sorry, He's more of like an action Apocalypse movie now. actor. Like, this is I'm like sorry. saying Vin Diesel's great in uh, Gone and <laughs> Fast and Furious or whatever it is. All Gone right. Cowboys and, and Aliens. Penguin has uh, the Batman movie, the second Batman movie. Penguin. What's his name again? Danny Maybe DeVito. Some Cobblepot. Yes. Yes. Cobblepot. That's a good guy right there. Great name. Heck yeah. So you've just been sitting around watching a bunch of shitty movies? <laughs> I have. <laughs> thinking about brushing my teeth, thinking about flossing. I have not. Uh huh. They Did look, you get a haircut? They look good. You got a haircut. No, more's just falling out. Oh. Looks good. <laughs> oh, really? I know somebody that cuts hair. Though. Gravity's your barber. Who do you know that cuts hair? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody that's on the other side of that phone, probably. Oh, turn it around real quick, William. <laughs> no, 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 turn William, turn your phone around. Press? No, what button? Do you press? Like you did it before, just turn it around. Do it right now. All right, now, now go walk, into the walk, house. Walk yeah. that direction. <laughs> Walk your leg way. sticking out of from under Come the on. couch. Take us for a walk before the phone call ends. Take us for a quick little tour. I'm not going on any walk right now. Why? I can't. Is that what Harrison Ford would do? Are you serious? You stumped him. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah Harrison, now she's over, he's over there. Harrison Ford's almost uh, is also a fun fact is he is a notoriously bad pilot. <laughs> like a hor- that is true. horrific pilot. Like he's he's had more emergency landings than basically any other ten pilots combined. I've also heard from inside sources that he's just stoned to the gullet at all I mean, times. He, he has his ears pierced no. on both sides. You can't really get <laughs> with danglies. You can't really get stoned before flying. Not when he's flight. flying, just right. in general. Yeah. Yeah, stoned before a flight stop. Who the okay. fuck said that? All right, William. Well. Yeah, just the- all right. Well, that was probably my best set. Thank you so much. That it's is exciting. true. I, that is one of my favorite sets from you. I'm for real this time. There he is, William Montgomery, everybody. Hi, William. There he is, William Montgomery. What are the odds of that? You guys both writing a white noise Seinfeld joke <laughs> the same week. Yo, Rocco wrote a black noise joke earlier this week. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> All right, your next comedian on this list. We all know this name very well. Uh, he is a legend in the history of this show. He uh, famously has an Instagram that uh, has, always blows up on this show. We always look at his past Instagram posts and laugh at his hashtags and his incredibly, what some would call douchey posts. But he's a guy... Out here hustling, a good-looking guy, you know. Everybody's trying to make it. Everybody, you know, and he, he's doing a good job for himself. So let's see what he's written lately. This is 60 Seconds from the Comedy Stylings of Kevin Mack. Here he is. Oh, God damn it. Here's Kevin Mack. A lot of people are going through some tough times right now in my life. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm dating a 20-year-old cam girl. So things are great. Uh, The hardest part of my day is uh, finding ways not to say this is what's wrong with your generation. There was a point last night where she was sucking my dick, and I compared the skin on her face to the skin on my very old dick. And it took everything I had not to say, call your fucking father and fix whatever issues you have right now. Because I care about her. I care about her. I made the mistake of telling my friends that she's a cam girl on my free cams. Now I have to hear uh, every time she get a tip, I have to hear, thank you, please don't tell Kevin we're fucking 74. Oh, what a gift. I appreciate it. Kevin's dick is much smaller than mine, 87. I have shitty friends. Shitty fucking friends. Kevin Mack. Oh. Yes, this would be the shorter one. Yes. Oh my god, yes. But a <laughs> oh. All right. You got the laugh. You got the laugh. There you go. All right, we're here with Kevin uh, Mack. Here he is. He's literally working out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just says. Just when he couldn't possibly be any wackier, this guy's out of control. Up, How guys? are you? Hey, look, look at the up? webcam facing his bed below him on top of the TV. You can actually see a camera. It is incredible. <laughs> that's, that's my Apple TV. That's my Apple TV, Red Band. Don't give yeah, me right. any ideas. You're damn right. Look at you. A real manly setup you have there. You have the Brahma bull horns, the whole uh, bull skull on the, is that a bison perhaps on the, uh, on the wall we have there? Hey, um, it is a bison. Indeed. And, uh, that was fun, man. I, I literally went from, I tried to like, I tried to give your background of history on the show by saying he sort of has douchey posts on Instagram, but we're all doing good here, <laughs> this and that. And then as soon as I, you know, tried to set you up properly after saying that you're douchey. I, I reset it, and then you come out guns a blaze and yo, so I'm getting my dick sucked by this 20 year old cam girl, and basically <laughs> went right into your brand. It's absolutely hilarious. So, what's her name? Oh, uh, Brian the wants cam to girl? look her up. Yeah. You could probably Chanel. get her. You could probably get her some followers right now. Yeah, I you don't could know, actually. I don't know how that works. You get that kill Tony fans over there tipping a bit. 
Yeah, pro- check her out on Only OnlyFans. Her name is Delaney Lane. Delaney Lane. Look at that. Not the first Delaney time Lane. you plugged her today. Am I right, guys? Hey, hey Anthony. It's me. You're coming into your own. That's right. Wow. They, they used to call me Joey Slaps. <laughs> it was just a slap. Come on. We ever talked about that? Good, man. I'm just, we never uh, talked about that I'm, on the show uh, before. I'm sitting here. I'm enjoying the scents of my uh, my damn good candle hey, and my LA speed We love that. Damngoodco.com for your damn good candle. Everybody's yeah. got one nowadays. So uh, let's talk about it, man. How's uh, how's life been going? You got a 20 year old cam girl. We know your love life's good. That's always been good for you. What else is happening? You stay insane during this crazy time? Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not buying into the hoax. I've been out uh, running trails and hiking and riding my motorcycles and doing backyard workouts and yeah, that's not great. buying into it. I love it. Well, I mean, my all grandparents that stuff... are dead. Right. I agree. <laughs> no, I got you there. I'm with you. That all the stuff that you said pretty much is social distancing. By the way, you scared me there when you're like, I'm not buying into the hoax. I'm out here. <laughs> doing things and then you named a bunch of yeah. things that you do by yourself out there on a motorcycle about at edm parties about it at hardy conventions right a play in solitaire yeah you're playing solitaire in the middle of a park you're uh you're uh all right I'm, not, I'm never hiking or i'm never hiking or riding my motorcycles alone oh you have a side cart huh i got a lady on the back whoa look at that you, you ever live life until you've got a handy on the freeway Mm. Is that a real story? That is a real story. Of course you, it is. She jerked you off from behind. On a motorcycle. Okay, that's an On a motorcycle. Freeway. Did now where did the cum go? <laughs> she she didn't finish know. it. Oh, but you were able to it don't count you more. <laughs> you gotta complete on the bike. Alright. You were able to get hard though, is that true? Yeah, it was on the uh it was on the five freeway. Oh, wow, you oh, turned that on. motorcycle into a stick shift. Am I right? All right. What time of the day was this? Because, I mean, can you imagine just being stuck? Can you imagine just being stuck like, in uh, traffic and there's just everybody's, like, laughing and pointing at you getting jerked off on a motorcycle? It was, before she was on the bike, it was the 10 freeway. For those of you listening to this show that might not know Los Angeles, the 5 freeway is a six-lane, usually packed highway. Yeah. Not very free flowing. I could barely do the 134 before I come. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Brian's never gotten jerked off on the five, but he has scratched his asshole on the 134. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Let's talk about your Instagram. Is it uh, it still legendarily uh, douchey? Oh, Uh, look, the guys brought it up. Are the viewers at home can see this right now? Wow, so you can actually see what we're talking about. Look at this. It's a picture of him and his motorcycle. Whoa. Faster than Corona. In parentheses, <laughs> ride or die. Hashtag <laughs> motto. Hashtag motorcycle. motorcycle. Hashtag motorcycles. motorcycles. Hashtag ride. ride. Hashtag bikes. bikes. Hashtag bike. Hashtag bikers. Oh Hashtag biker God. boy. <laughs> Hashtag bike God. <laughs> Hashtag bike <laughs> life. Hashtag Indian, Indian. motorcycles. What? Hashtag freedom, hashtag free, hashtag live, live love, love, road, road fit, fit, fitness, fitness, motivation, model, fitness, model, gay. hashtag gym, hashtag muscle, <laughs> hashtag tattoo, <laughs> hashtag tattoos, hashtag guys with tattoos, hashtag ink, inked, fit fam, and fitspo. Hashtag a guy jerked me off on the bike. Oh hashtag bottom. God. <laughs> bottom. That is incredible. Wow. Look at oh, that. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh my God! No, wait. Go back to wait, that other one. Wait, if you one. have a camera in your hand, who's taking a picture of you? How did that work? Hey, get a picture of me with my camera. Oh God, look at this one. Hey, this is oh that boy. inception that that dude was trying to figure out. Hey, all right, scan back down there. No, go down. Go back to where we can see all the pictures. Roll down. Go down. Uh, left. What's uh, left that right one? There. What's that one with him in the grass there? <laughs> What is this? What is that? I am a man tiger. I stalk the grasslands. Man panthers are pussies to me. Oh, that. Oh, you're calling out Brian Callen. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys are both. You guys are both shirtless quite often. You guys are like. <laughs> you guys are both. That's sort the of, homie. I see, I gotcha. I gotcha. You guys both uh, work out and 
Mix your comedy in with your bodies. Wow, is that one supposed to be silly too? That one top right there? Click on that one, the one where he looks like the bad guy from Superman 3. Hey, that's a good haircut I can get behind right there. Wow, look at those hashtags. You got hashtag ha ha in there. I got a, I got a hashtag sexy messiah in there too. Oh my God, you <laughs> son of a... Now, do you find that a lot of people are searching for the hashtag sexy messiah? <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised. I think it was like 5,000 uh, posts with hashtag sexy messiah. There you go. That's what I was asking. Wow. Thank you, Kevin. There's a lot of Jesus porn out there. Do you check your, uh, what do they call that, like analytics and see how much uh, this ha these hashtags get you? Is that You can do that on Instagram, right? Yeah, I can, I can basically see how well um, each hashtag performs for each picture. Wow. Let's see, uh, let's see the top of that Instagram page. I want to see his numbers and uh, statistics, what he's got going on here. What are, we, what, are we, what are we at? Look at you, 110K, following 159 with only 318 posts. Those are, those are great stats. Thanks, man. I'm blowing up on TikTok right now. So Jeremiah, to you gotta there. use more hashtags. You ever think about <laughs> Look at this? Jeremiah just seems so defeated. Right Jeremiah, po <laughs> Jeremiah posts 314 times a day and yeah. only has half as many followers. Do yeah, you want to put your Venmo out there right now, Kevin Mack? <laughs> What's your Venmo? <laughs> uh, Next uh, week on Jeremiah Wonders, Kevin Mack. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been on Jeremiah Wonders. Oh, no. Vinny, no. No, don't do it. No. Oh, no, Vinny, no. Oh, Vinny. You put the no in Vinny Mencine, no. I put the Vin Mo. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Put it down. How you doing? Put has your girl tried down. to uh, get you, you to... Doing? Burp. Has your girl tried to get you to go on Chatterbait with her, like like wear a mask or something? Have you tried tried doing that yet? She wants me to do a video with her on uh, OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh, Dude, you should absolutely do that. Hell yeah! Get a GoPro for the motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? Just wear a mask. I can't risk it. CBS would not be happy with me at all if that uh, if that got out. That's right. You are on Why Women Kill on CBS All Access. Uh, yes, sir. It, when does that go back in season? We're about to shoot season two in August. Wow, that's that is great, so man. cool. Is that is it the Mandalorian yeah. you have on in the background? Yeah, yeah, I'm in season two of the Mandalorian <laughs> too. Can, can, can I? Ooh. Can, can I? <laughs> can I tell sick. you a real a real thing about yeah. our friend Kevin Mack? Yeah. Real story. I'll roast myself right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did a video together. He posted on his profile. It wasn't performing well, so he deleted it immediately. <laughs> and that's a true story of my friend Kevin Mack. You know I didn't notice. I noticed, Kevin. I noticed that you took it there. I've been waiting to confront you. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Good job. I brought his numbers hey, sorry, down. Jim. Good job, Kevin. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. How long did you hey, keep it up there? You're a powerful guy, Jeremiah. I can't let your numbers get too big. Then I got to compete with you. That's true. He wants to keep you down. Look at that. Very interesting. So what else is going on in life, Kevin? Anything else crazy happening? Uh, I shoot my podcast in the very studio you are in right now. That's uh, going what's that? very well. We just, had, uh, we just had Luke Rockhold on last, last episode, so that was pretty cool. That's awesome. What's that called again? I'm sorry. Hashtag podcast. What's your What's your <laughs> podcast called again? It's called Major Waves. Major Waves. So there you go. If you want to get inspired by uh, Kevin here, if you want to get uh, be part of the Fitzpo, if you want to be part of the uh, Messiah Bod hashtag Messiah Bodies. Um, Do they just work out in here? The room we're in yeah. right now. <laughs> I wonder why this place smelled like sweat. It smells like buttholes in here. Yeah, buttholes. That's what Brian thinks working out smells like. Is buttholes. It's been a while. Buns for and him. Really. It smells like a 134 in here. The 134. He's on Instagram at Kevin Mac. He's on TikTok. You're on TikTok, huh? Yeah, I've, I've been on for like a month. I'm already up to 278,000. 
Look at that, Jeremiah. Why, there you, you go. You spend all this time with this guy, and and you care about your social media so much. You spend so much time focusing on it. This guy puts subtitles on him on the toilet. He's shaking his lip. Me right meanwhile, <laughs> he's got. <laughs> <laughs> we get, Kevin, you gotta teach Jeremiah your tricks of the trade. I'm gonna get start putting Jeremiah in a bunch of my skits. Hashtag nose job. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag analytics. Shut up, Tony. Shut up. Shut up, Tony. Tony, it's the bomb. And everyone's coming out of the community. Oh, no, 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 no. There he goes, Kevin Mack, everybody. Why Women Kill on CBS All Access. He's but Kevin Mack on Instagram. At the Kevin Mack on TikTok. All right, so here's something fun. We just did uh, two episodes in Ventura. As you guys may know, if you're some of the more obsessed fans, we are still holding on to... Uh, episode two before releasing it just so that uh we can keep you guys jones and to see an episode randomly just in case things go off the wire yeah, we might have here. to take a, a week yeah, off yeah who knows we knows? might need to drop an emergency episode a fun thing that we did this week is we released uh the first ever roadkill episode which that was, was great. a little yeah and ended up great the our friend jeremy over at rabbit view up in canada made uh Made an awesome um, documentary uh, series. Uh, one of my great friends, the great and talented uh, McVader, Scott, uh, made some awesome graphics for it, some titles, and, uh, and we released it. And you moved the cue ball, and everyone's been talking about you. you I moved the cue ball once yeah. because that was a Jeremiah scratched, and that is it considered ball it ball in hand. Yeah. So even though I moved it, I could have moved it. I could have walked around with the ball for a while or anything like that, but of course... People on the internet are going to uh, be shocked and confused and appalled. There was no foul play, all right? That's right. Um, however, I will say that uh, another one's coming soon. So congratulations to you guys because we banked a couple of those roadkill episodes. So that's going to be happening at, at some random time. It's just going to be dropped. However... Uh, along with us holding on to that second Ventura episode, there was one young lady who, and I'm sure Gage doesn't know this or didn't know this when um, randomly selecting people, but this young lady ended up on both episodes oh. of that show. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I present to you Stacy Blue Ball Ross, everyone. Here's a new minute from Stacy. <laughs> Mother's bandana oh, fell down. Look at the music. <laughs> I can't touch her right now. She's mourning. She's mourning her husband again. The whole thing <laughs> fell down. She's mourning that song. All right, here it uh, is. Stacy Blueball Ross with a minute. Hi guys. On quarantine, <laughs> date, whatever. On Sunday, I think that means um, hand jobs to everyone. And. Uh, I've been doing a lot of writing over this quarantine period, and I thought, why not work on something I've never worked on, which is impressions? So here goes. Here's an impression of the last time I had sex. All right, I'm ready. Come on in. What? You're by yourself. Who's going to hold my tits up? And, oh, here's an impression of last time I had anal. That was it. <laughs> Holy shit, this place is chaos. <laughs> The dumbest show of all time. <laughs> it was, this, this was a this was a stupid show when we had a massive sold out theaters of audiences. This show is so much dumber with just us in a room watching these videos and then trying to communicate with these people. Hello, Stacy Blueball Ross. How are you? Hi. How's Hi, it going? Tony. Hi. Hi, Red Bull and Best Young <laughs> Oh, Red Bull gives you chicken wings. <laughs> 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 Red 
Bowl gives you chicken wings, Jesse Johnson just said as Lucia. That one came from above. But yeah. Yes, we are here live in studio with Red Bull and the band for another yes. episode of Kill Tony. Um, welcome back, Stacy. How's the quarantine Thank treating you? you? Uh, unbelievable. I've, I've learned a lot about myself. Yes, people normally try to stay six feet away from you at all times before this, so <laughs> I, I can't know, imagine. I what know. have you learned about yourself? Um, that I have come up with a lot of solutions that can keep me six feet apart and be um, safe while I'm asking for social D while I'm social distancing. So um, I don't know where I'm going to put the ad because, you know, no one's on my Bumble and no one's on the, the dating apps, but um, I'm not getting right. any phone calls either. So right. six feet or longer, a lot of things, a lot my, of things. My goodness. Yikes. Stacy, is it true you made a joke about this, uh, an impression of the last time you did anal? Have you done anal before? No. <laughs> yeah, Red but man. No. Get rid of that board. Red Get it out of here. Red <laughs> Everybody want to do it together? One, two, three. Red, Red Bull. Bull. Red. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. I love wow. it. I so have you, have yeah. you done anal before? Yes. Yeah. yes. Of course. Who hasn't? Of course, who hasn't? Wow. Hey, that's my that's mother's she... here. Cover your mouth. If I remember, that's all she talked about in the Ventura shows is how is she. I know. I said, I said I had a tattoo that said reserved for Kobe with the arrow. Oh, that's yeah. right. The Kobe Bryant tattoo. My yeah. goodness gracious. Yeah, we understand it. You did right, the, right. the hand signals like 19 times. Yeah. Do you prefer, do you prefer <laughs> anal to vaginal sex? <laughs> Yes. Um, I, prefer, I prefer anything at this point. It's been a dry season. Wow, you lonely, really, yeah. lonely, lonely I, cougar out there. Look at you. Little mountain I, I'm lion. I'm like the rest of the world right now. My God. So what have, you been, bad. what have you been doing to pleasure yourself? How do you get through it? You're such a horny fucking lady. <laughs> um, yeah, good question. <laughs> you have a, but, you have a, you have a table wine ass that. <laughs> <have a, laughs> uh, I've been opening table wine with my head. You have table, a, you, table you have tennis? A, table tennis? You have tennis. a Sibian or a washing machine, perhaps, that you sit on or anything like that? No, but I was thinking, like, if someone had a didgeridoo, they could be on the other end. Or, wow. like, a canoe oar. Oh, my God. Or, like, a microphone with, a, like, a microphone stand with a microphone for my pleasure. Wow, you've really thought through all of like this. Like a really long dildo. <laughs> like a giant dildo. Long, right? Right. Or if someone had like a, a six foot long day old Subway sandwich roll, because the fresh one would just get all mashed up in That's there. That's where you lost Red Band. <laughs> Yeah, he, he refuses to put Subway in his ass. Mouth only. <laughs> Mouth only. <laughs> Not my ass, but come on, yeah. Right. Oh wow! So I mean, uh, no. do you, what do you do for work again, Stacy? I don't remember. Um, I work with uh, for my cousin. He has a cabling company, and we have been basically very quiet, very quiet. Have you thought about setting up an OnlyFans, perhaps? Uh, uh, who? An OnlyFans, where uh, it's so it's what I just learned about this a few weeks ago on your mom's house podcast. It's where. Okay. You can do like sexual acts for for fans, and they pay you money. Red Band is subscribed really? to OnlyHams.com. <laughs> <laughs> Only I mean, they got good hams. <laughs> okay, sign me up. Sign me up. They only I hams. definitely would be down. Now, how'd you get yeah. your name Blue Waffle? <laughs> blue Ball. Blue, oh, Blue, blue ball. ball. Blue Ball. Again with the food. Um. Uh, yeah, I was aggressively masturbating, and um, it was happening because I was really trying to be um, concentrating. And they said if you rub one out before you do anything that you need to be, like, mentally prepared for, that um, if you actually do that. And I found myself just always trying to be mentally prepared, mentally prepared, mentally prepared. What was the question so, that I um, asked that she's answering right now? Does anybody how did she get the name Blue Balls? Red... Oh, that's from your name, right. Blue Balls. Yeah. If you Google Blue yeah. Waffle, you can see her vagina. I don't get it. Uh, what does that uh, mean? Blue waffle is an STD. Save us all. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, no. Blue waffles and STD <laughs> to save you all from stopping a podcast to Google. Why yeah. would you show no. us that? Yeah, that's. I, so I didn't. Basically, basically, 
basically I, I, um, I abused myself to a point where I got beat my own pussy up. And so, um, it turned blue. And when I went to the doctor, they said I had, like, it was bruised. I, I bruised myself. You really so did? I said, oh, yeah. Oh my God. True story. Wow. That is wild. What did they do? Yeah, did you have to put one. ice on it? Um, no, I just had to leave with my tail between my legs. Oh, uh, that, that's what it looked like? It looked like a tail by the oh, time like you were done with it? Sock. No, no, it looked like a one singular blue ball. So, um, when I showed up, I was very uncomfortable sitting in my seat and they asked me why. And I said, I have a blue ball and the oh. name stuck. Here's oh my God. The last time I saw a yeah. pussy that sort, uh, a redheaded girl <laughs> dropped it during her set earlier. <laughs> so, the cat, yeah, stupid. I I hate, fun fact: I hate cat pussy jokes. Always have. Yet I've done uh, yeah. three in the past seven episodes. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is yeah. that the craziest thing that's happened to you sexually, Stacy? You having to go to the doctor um, for a bruised pussy? That's that's got to be up there. It's definitely got to be up there. How about but, uh, with another human? Did anything crazy ever happen with another human? You ever have a guy I've never like even a... had. I've never even had a threesome, so I, I'm pretty tame. Wow. Yeah, you're pretty much a virgin then. Vinny. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> my goodness. I forgot you live. Right? Uh, are you okay. on any date? Uh, you're, so you're on dating sites, huh? Dice, right? Are those latex gloves with the fingers cut out? Yes. Wow. It defeats the purpose. Fashionably, you know. fashionably safe. She's an emo in quarantine. <laughs> oh my God. Fashionably safe. Yikes. I've well, been on so many times the last month. I feel like a regular. Thank you. You sort of are. It is impressive. Three times in I a month it. or so for I you. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. And I love you guys. I miss you. And I miss the comedy store. And thank you so much for doing this every week. Well, Stacy, we love you. You are very bizarre, uh, always very open and honest, and we absolutely yeah. love that. Your style of uh, doing impressions and being physical. I love that you started Thank the you. camera and then walked away oh, from it. That was it. hilarious, that was by the uh, way. Vinny. I'm very curious. You, you talk about how sexually active you are with your masturbating. Have you ever thought of Tony Hinchcliffe when have you been masturbating before? Uh, no, I just learned. I just learned about Tony um, like uh, nine months ago. So no. Oh, so you the baby's baby. coming soon. Yeah, All right. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it takes her much longer yeah. than nine months before she starts fantasizing about somebody. No, I fan. I fantasize every Monday before I go to the comedy store. She would there fantasize about having something as big as Tony in her pussy. <laughs> exactly. You could use me as one of these six-foot dildos. Come up a couple inches short. <laughs> <laughs> you like four foot dildos? Yeah. Yeah. I'm game. I'm so game. I love it. Stacy, we're going to keep this uh, fun train Thank moving you. along. There she goes. Stacy Blue Thank Ball you. Ross. Thank you, Stacy. Mm -hmm. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. hey. This is one of my favorite parts of the show every goddamn week. I love this guy with every ounce of and fiber, in every quarter pounder inside my body. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one of the greatest human beings on the planet, one of the great comedians of our time, the great Michael Lair is here, everybody. Hello, Michael. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, dude? Nothing. I was just watching... 1985 witness with featured um, best supporting actor nominee Harrison Ford. Ah, 1985? Yes, and then I was also watching 1991's Regarding Henry, where Harrison Ford plays the disabled person. Wow, look at that. So he does have some good... I just haven't seen any of the good Harrison Ford acting movies. I just thought he was an action guy. You were wrong. I guess so, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Tony, I spent all week running topicals. I'm going to do five topicals Jeez. in a minute. You go right ahead. Let's find out how many of these Red Band wrote this week as well. 
All right, well, I need a, you guys never know when I start, so give me a start, and then let me know when that minute starts. Okay, we're going to do it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know this guy is one of the great regulars on Kill Tony. Here he is, the one, the only, the great, powerful Michael Lair, everybody. Here he is. Joe Biden has so much dementia. If he gets elected, he's going to stab his cabinet with his dead kids. <laughs> Joe Biden, the only sentence he can make is if he mass incarcerates minorities. Joe Biden, the only good thing about him is his universal health care will cover rubbing tugs. <laughs> the only thing for sure about Joe Biden's running mate, he's been on Jeffrey Epstein private island. Joe Biden's presidential campaign slogan is alphabet soup. <laughs> mm. There he is, Michael Lair. That's exactly a minute right there. There it was. You absolutely fucking nailed it, dude. You are the quarantine great. king of comedy. Let there be no question. There's no one close. This what is this? Uh, four or five? five? Five episodes of these. You are unstoppable. I wanted to work on my topicals this week. To show the world I'm an ocho threat. Yep, absolutely. There's multiple, multiple ways that Michael Lair can uh, can get laughs. I can do the topical. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, you can. Some beautiful artwork behind you. Do you draw all that? What? Did you draw all that beautiful artwork behind you? Yeah, and then my hand broke. You incense. <laughs> fucking, I'll fucking kill you. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. You almost got me there. What? Whoa. Oh, hey, how'd you... oh, it's hey. oh, it's burning. Hey, Michael, how'd you like to be part of the family? Hey. Hey. <laughs> They're Italians. <laughs> I know. We, Mikey Wheels over here. Whoa, wow, look, at look at that. Whoa, look is that, that a brush of a Shetland pony? What was that? <laughs> hey, look at that. Hey, is that <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah, that brush is shaped like, like a red ball. <laughs> what am I doing over there? I've been inside for 32 days. <laughs> I love this. This is like if Hitler let himself go. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is cool because I can comb it to look like a wig. Yeah. <laughs> what else can you do? That, that brush was pretty cool. You have any other cool brush tricks with your hair? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, is, Wait, that, what is, is that? that a razor? Oh my God! <laughs> Wait, are you? You're gonna cut yourself? <laughs> man, you're crazy, man! Oh, like, you're crazy. Is it electric? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on there? I what think is he's that? just massaging his face. <laughs> oh no, he's shaving. Oh, get out of here! No, don't do it! No! Oh my God, Michael! Michael, no! What a mess! Why is he doing it? Uh, this what? guy is an absolute fucking what? icon. What? You will do anything for the love of the game, won't you? I don't, it's all the game. You're there is it. no game. It's all the game. Oh my god, I fucking love like you. Reindeer games. There you go, another Harrison Ford movie. Uh, yeah, he's great. Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This afternoon, all right? Hey, look at that hairs on it. Harrison oh. Ford. <laughs> <laughs>
We've been talking a lot about Harrison Ford this episode. I was uh, I haven't I haven't seen any of the movies where he does good acting. I've only seen the action movies. You have any uh, other uh, Harrison Ford recommendations? I, I started the interview with. Oh, that's right. You fucking that's right. Moron. That was you. That was you. I'm Witness sorry. We're flying through this. Regarding Henry. That's right. I, I downloaded the INDMB app <laughs> and I researched that joke to be prepared. Yep. You're I got you. untrustworthy. I <laughs> know. I got you. <laughs> I gotcha. It all gets mixed up here, uh, moving this fast through an episode. So, uh, what's, how's, how's your son doing through all this? Is he hey. still hanging out with you? No, he went to Wyoming oh. for the quarantine, which wasn't even necessary. You know what sucks about Corona? All these people are sick. It's like I'm not even special anymore. <laughs> For real. Like an, like an idiot, I spent all winter strengthening my immune system by eating out homeless chicks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Can I say I love your new look? I love the new beard, Michael. You put the Abraham Lincoln in ALS. <laughs> What's the yeah. oh, No, no, Michael, stop. Stop, no. Yeah, do more, do more. No. Just leave the goatee smash mouth style. No, don't do it, Michael. Michael, don't, don't, don't go up there. Don't oh, go up there, Michael, do don't go up there. Cut it all Boy, out. my agent. What are you, my fucking agent? What do you care about how I shave? No, you're what right. What you, for your spank bank? Yeah. <laughs> I jerk off the thing. You're going to ruin it. Don't do it, Mike. Don't do it, Mike. I don't like the way you look. <laughs> Call me untrustworthy again. <laughs> Paste the beard back on your face. I love it, Michael. Well, what else is going on? Anything else we should know about? Um, yeah, I'm gonna be auctioning off my bike chain soon. Oh, that's Already awesome. Have. Yeah, you... I got a custom box built for it, and I got a, a professional voiceover artist, and I got a um, model to do the <laughs> promotional video. Are you gonna and be the hubba, hubba. Are you gonna be the actual auctioneer for it? Cause no, I'd imagine, eBay, I'd, I'd, imagine prices, I'd imagine prices would stay pretty low for a while <laughs> if you're the auctioneer. That's good. That's good, no. I move too quick and sometimes you hit me beside the head. Now you got me. You I got me. You. I love you. I that love was you. good. How's the nurse yeah, slash girlfriend? But, She's good. I make her hide in the other room when I'm performing. Because Thespians doing on stage and they need their private circles. Yeah, I agree. Whatever it takes to get that genius out of you. You are Thank unstoppable. You. We love you yeah. so much. Anything else for Michael, guys? I miss you, Michael. Yeah, we miss yeah. you. We miss, oh, miss you, buddy. You, we miss your positive I energy, my friend. I went Thank on your you. I went on your website the other day. I was looking at your merch and you have everything. He's got yeah. bath mats, he's got like shower curtains, he's got like a pencil uh, bags. I, <laughs> you have like everything. Is, is this true, Michael? You have all types of merch at your store? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, what? you wouldn't believe the shit. The <laughs> I got to check out this website. It's michaelaircomedy.com, right? Yeah, you'll find everything in there. Entertainment. L-E-H-R-E-R. -E -R. Yeah, <laughs> michaelaircomedy.com. Michaelair, L-E-H-R-E-R, comedy.com. 
MichaelLairComedy.com. I'm going to get myself some bath mats this week. <laughs> I'm going to get especially... some Michael Lair leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can no, help Michael right out, send him some weed, by the way, guys. If uh, Right? You, you, you like people sending you weed. Please, but not in the mail. Oh, my God. Look at all of that. Wow, that's incredible. We have your website brought up on the main screen here. Everybody's seeing it. That is so yeah, cool. Yeah, watching too. <laughs> Where are the bath mats that are? Are you using there's one of his t-shirts as a bath mat, Jesse? Yeah, there's like rugs right, and stuff. Click on that and then go to the Threadless site if you want to see the bath mat. Yeah, there's so more. Like, that's not the, even all of it. Click on what? Click well, on I haven't been paid button. for that photo that's on your website right now, actually, so... Oh my god. Yeah, no. Oh my god. <laughs> and then there's the are tabs these, on the left and are, those tabs have tabs. Are these temporary <laughs> tattoos? No man. Do people love me and they make drawings? This website and has more I windows than this studio. And I buy weed money. Oh my god. This is incredible. Oh my Same god, words. look at all these <laughs> <laughs> These are all skateboards. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Michael How Lair. Ironic. How ironic. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all have to check this out. Go to MichaelLairComedy.com. Click on all the merch. Go to the merch link when you get to the website under merch. And then once you're in the merch, click on the merch link. It takes you to a whole nother level of merch. Can I show you one more thing on my site? You goddamn know you can, Michael Lair. You can do anything you Brian, want. I gave you 20 you minutes mind? last week. Oh, yeah. I was a little overindulgent. That's why <laughs> this week <laughs> I was really on the ball. It wasn't you, um, it was but me. Brian, will you do the fun one? It should say fun. The one on my website. Funny? That, there you go. Those are all businesses I started. Cat that shoes you that look like, like your cat? On. Wait, I could get shoes that look like my cat? Yeah, <laughs> check it out. It's all great. <laughs> Click on any of them. I want cat shoes that look like my cat. Oh, my oh God. My <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's cat shoes. All of these lead to <laughs> Website. Oh my god. I, I didn't even know it went this Wait, go deep. back. There was one that said oh, something about America. It's now. cat it's shoes. Cat. Shoes that look like your cat. And in parentheses underneath that, it said, it's not shoes for your cat. <laughs> Wait, American yeah, actors, I guess, really not really Americans, but saying Americans. Many on were done. Oh my god. Yeah. What? No more. F no more. Yeah, no <laughs> more foreigners pretending to be Americans. They're fucking around. They're making fun of us. We couldn't do that. I'm Michael Lair, an American actor English. who hasn't booked a job in years. Oh my. Wow. Sam Tripoli must have helped you out with this. Wow. <laughs> that was an impression better than the real deal. Go to another one. Rent because rent's due and I'm not even close. Rency, what's that? <laughs> Wait, what? what is it? <laughs> Selling things for rent money. <laughs> uh, it's just random stuff you're selling. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, man. I can't work anymore. Wow. I'm a hustler. <laughs> Okay, these are awesome. All right, you gotta check out this if you're listening to this uh, oh. podcast. You gotta you gotta check out Michael Lehrer's. Uh, There's so oh many of them. Website. My <laughs> God. The original Bill Hunter. I can't. I don't even want to give all these away. Yeah. You guys oh, gotta check oh, it out. Oh, this is absolute homework assignment. MichaelLehrerComedy.com. Check out his website. Share it on social media. Tell your friends to check it out. I'm Tag him in it. On. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, it did late. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be on the live podcast. So I'm too effing high. Okay. On Campfire Media. Beautiful. Well, they can all catch you there. Follow them at MichaelLairComedy.com and uh, Michael Lair. What's your social media handles again? 
Michael Lair Comedy and Instagram and uh, Steve Martian six nine for Twitter. All right, there you go. There he is, the great Michael Lair. I love you so much, Michael. Yeah. Michael Lair, everybody. Ticket super hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, what? What was that? What would you say, Michael? Chicken soup. There he is. <laughs> All right, we have another comedian. This guy actually is friends with Jesse Johnson. We found out about him last week. He let uh, Joel use his tiger suit. Um, now that I'm seeing him, I know this guy. He's uh, one of the very funny hosts of This Week Sucks Tonight. Here he is, Michael Turner, everyone. 60 Seconds of Michael Turner. Here he is, Michael Turner. What's going on? Happy belated Easter to all of you believers out there. Uh, I myself, I was raised Catholic. Um, I think the strangest thing about being raised Catholic was probably turning 18 and being like, what the fuck was that? You know what I mean? Like, nobody's 19 and Catholic. That's not a thing. That's a TLC show they're working on. It's coming on right after the missions. 19 and Catholic. Because I actually, I, I, I question this shit. Like, I actually believe that the books in the Bible were written by other people that overheard stories being told, but they didn't understand exaggeration was a thing. Right? Like, hyperbole was really popping off in 0 BC, and they didn't know how to read it. Like, they just heard some dude talking about a recent trip he was on. He was like, dude, how was that trip? And he was like, it was fine, but, like, weather-wise, it had to be raining easy 40 days, 40 nights. I was like, dude, what do you mean? It was a three-day weekend, dude. It was monsoon season. You, you built a boat? You did what to the zoo? Dude, people are looking for you. You got your kids involved? <laughs> I love that. Michael Turner, everyone. Fuck yeah. Here comes the music. Hell yeah. Let me play among the stars. Yeah. What's up, Michael? How's it going, brother? How we doing? I'm hanging in there. How we living? I love it, man. I love the artwork on your walls. <laughs> all my favorite, all my favorite American yeah, moments. Me my, uh, study. What was yeah. that? Say, say that. A lot of YouTube, Evan. Say that one more time. I missed that. I've been doing a lot of YouTube diving here, so just kind of trying to figure out kind of the truth and stuff. And uh, I've got the whole HDR behind me here, and. Uh, I love that. Yeah, it looks like you basically cracked the case. That is about the order of events. The president on the left started a war with the Middle East. By the time that a lot of the people angry about that got their revenge, they attacked there uh, while his son was president. It all started here. Don't yes. forget about it. <laughs> yes, it did. That is the magic spot uh, yeah. back back into the left. No doubt about it. A lot of good YouTube links if anybody needs some viewing stuff for quarantine. Heck yeah, man. That is so fun. And uh, you are originally from Phoenix, Arizona, right? So I'm actually originally from uh, Ohio. Like, you know, I'm from Cincinnati, though. And then oh. uh, lived in Arizona for a while, did comedy, started comedy there eight years ago with uh, Jeff D. Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike and I started in Arizona in a hockey rink. It was a, bar, a dive bar attached to a hockey rink. So when we were doing, when we started out, there was a window behind the bar where you could see the rink. Wow. And you go do jokes and yeah. you'd hear like the pucks on the glass or like people breaking out in a fight right on your punchline. Like, Talk about a nice house. Gordon Bombay jokes. A lot of Gordon Bombay jokes. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's like my ma has lived multiple lives. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what made you, uh, yeah, what, what made you uh, go from Ohio to Phoenix? Uh, Arizona State University, so it's a great, uh, yes. great school. You can fall into undeserved pussy, which is always great. Yes, Arizona State, you got you it. You got it. Push yep. and believe. You ever see Brody or uh, there, or did he ever come back to perform for you guys? Brody did a couple of shows. Yeah, he was he was a good buddy of mine. When he would Fuck come that. through, we'd. Uh, I took a couple of those photos. If you ever see his Instagram feed, when he would do like. like at restaurants and stuff, I took a photo of Water Waterburger. Yeah. Oh, and wow. People know me. There he is. How about Steve <laughs> Lee? You ever see Stevie Weeby out there? I don't know that one. He went there, right? Hmm. Yeah. Who was talking to me? Is that, you look like an extra in a Ricky Martin video. What's going on, buddy? Oh, oh my God. How did you know? Watch your mouth, Michael Turner. 
He's, li Rocco. He's living La Vida Joca back there. There you go. I love it. So, Michael, uh, you just moved to L.A. recently? Yeah, I started living out here and moved out. I got. I actually have a comedian roommate. You guys had him uh, on the show one time. Look at this dude here. Hey, hey what's up, that? brother? How's it going, my man? What up, dog? How y'all living? We out here doing conspiracy and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Clearly one of the trying to find out everything. It's awesome. Clearly one of the big conspiracies going on in that apartment is this whole corona social distancing <laughs> thing. Small <laughs> small environment in here. That is awesome. You still able to kick out a lot of content during all of this? Too much. It's it's yeah, it's getting even worse. So it's yeah, it's all downhill. But wow. You know, you start an OnlyFans, you should be good. I love it, man. I love it. That is so cool. How do you? How did you guys meet? Through Chappelle Lacey. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who was my roommate? There. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we're all connected. Chappelle's coming over later to watch John Wick Three. So, really social <laughs> distancing. Little fun fact is, uh, I have a conspiracy theory myself that John Wick Three is the best John Wick. Anybody watch all the I, John Wicks? I, it's solid movies. I completely agree. Thank you. Thank you. I that agree. Was, I'll never forget where I was. I was on a flight. Uh, Which they shouldn't be allowed to show that movie on a flight. Gives you too many ideas. You know what I'm saying? No, it was great. It was one of those <laughs> flight movies. It was one of those flight movies that I thought was going to suck. And I was planning on taking a nap. I normally sleep on almost all flights. And I threw it on. And sure enough, instead, I missed a whole fucking three or four hour goddamn nap. I mean, all those John Wick movies are kind of like that, man. You can't start a John Wick movie and stop it. Ah, it's sort of crazy. It's like a... Uh, uh, start my day every day. John Wick film. Because this no John coffee. Wick, it's like all on a clock and stuff. Like, they really fucking keep the plot flying, right? They're not all like that, right? Well, and it goes from the second one to the third one. My guy doesn't even get a nap in before the third yeah, one starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Harrison Ford would have needed a nap between them. <laughs> in, in Harrison Ford's defense, look at Harrison Ford from 1977 to 1983. No one had a better stretch of movies ever. Star Wars, Blade Runner, Indiana Jones. Yeah, that is true. That is true. And he was banging some beautiful women. He was doing well. But uh, 83, yeah. you know. Back then, you could bang 13-year-old girls. Nobody even gave a fuck. Except for the 13-year-old yeah. girls. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and, that, and that's the time oh, Stacey Blueball Ross had to go to the hospital for a sore pussy. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Uh, fuck yeah. So I can't believe you just moved out here recently, and then this whole thing started. How does that make you feel? So first of all, the day I moved out here, Kobe messed around and died. So that was, uh, it's been a tough go. I haven't really brought a lot of positive to the LA market yet, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, it can be disheartening, but I'm just trying to stay, stay positive. I have a roommate that has 1.5 million followers. So I'm trying to, trying to just take it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> ride that way. And a fidget spinner. I'll tell you, yeah, Whoa. right now. So Everybody, yeah, you, you made fun of the content creators before this. The IG comedians are taking over, bitches. Yeah, dog. I the love CBN that. <laughs> Mike, have He's you started making shirts that say this year sucks tonight? <laughs> yeah, that's probably the move. Hey, that yeah. is a good, that's a great idea. That's why I said it. Sometimes I'm <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, the, the ego on this guy. <laughs> like, part of the Rocco. My God, all, all it takes is one in a row for his head Rocco to only fans Danny over here. <laughs> <laughs> that is my only fans uh, handle. Well, so well, much. Tony, we came out, we yeah. came out trying to, uh, we got a show at the comedy store. So this week sucks tonight. Uh, was a show that started in Arizona with myself and Anwar Newton, and uh, we're now a regular on a monthly basis at the Comedy Store. So we only had two or three shows this year, and obviously that's been on hiatus. But, oh, that's right. Uh, when yeah. it comes back, we'll be, we'll be up there in the belly room, kind of like how you guys started. So trying to Ab absolutely, absolutely a great place to grow a show. No doubt about that, man. Yeah. Um, you you made it all the way. Your your co-host moved out here as well. He's actually still back in Arizona, but he's coming out once a month to do it, and eventually probably will be out here when he can. So that's great. Yeah, I highly, uh, I highly recommend. Um, 
uh, as soon as things are back up and as soon as you guys possibly can to, uh, to make it weekly, you know, and really build super hard traction because it's sort of hard for people to remember like, Oh, the first one of the month, the second one, cause you guys did it weekly yeah. in Arizona, right? Right. Hence the name. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, of course. Indeed. Yeah. Yep. So like get it going and build momentum. And I say that with everybody who starts a show, people never want to hear it when I give them that advice to make a show weekly. But, uh, but that's just simply how you have to do it. People will remember a day of the week and then it's on the back of their mind instead of trying to, you have to have it in your schedule, a monthly show. Especially when it's in your title. <laughs> Jeremiah. Hey, look, we, we got in where we could. They gave us a, a monthly show. You know how it is cracking into the comedy store. I don't think there's a lot of shows that have ever started a regular show on the comedy store that have come out of state. So that's uh, right. where we're trying to break the mold. So. No, 100%. Are, are you and Anwa doing anything remotely, like uh, just to kind of keep like the name floating yeah, along and stuff like that? Doing, yeah, we're doing a weekly Where could people find that, perhaps, Michael? <laughs> Where could, be, where could people okay. perhaps find that? There you go. He owes you a favor now. Yeah, this week sucks tonight, uh, dot com, and then at this week sucks um, on uh, Instagram. Also, shout out to Tristan too. He's a part of yeah. your guys' show yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. shout yeah. out to yeah. Thomas yeah, Epolito. Yeah, Thomas. Yep. Yeah, yeah, good kid. Tommy Epps. We got yeah. Tristan, baby boy, used to be on our show all the time, and then uh, Jeski's been on there too, and her blossoming career. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, uh, I've seen it multiple times. I've gone to uh, I've gone to your show after doing shows in Arizona. I don't think you maybe you didn't know I was there, but I was out in the darkness, uh, getting having some drinks and uh, laughing and enjoying yeah, myself. The last time we were doing Kill Tony, I think you guys <laughs> followed us. Uh, maybe the last. Yeah, time. We did. Yeah. Yeah. And another wrong. time, but another time, the first time I saw it was years and years ago at the place where. Um, where they serve like empanadas outside or something. Oh, what is it? Crescent. Crescent. Yeah. Crescent yeah. Crescent 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 yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. good yeah. stuff. Love, love, love Arizona. Always so much fun, but we're glad to have you out in LA. Shout out to you, Michael Turner. Good Thank you, you so much. Shout out to Trevor Wallace making a special <laughs> appearance. Hey, look at that. Trevor Wallace. Yeah, you guys already follow him, but if you don't get out there, follow <laughs> Michael Turner at not Mike Turner. We love you guys. Thanks for participating. We'll see you guys soon. There they go. Let's check out the let's check out the drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt real quick here. Whoa! Joey no shoes! Cause he ain't got no shoes! Joey no shoes, what's happening? Hey! Hey! I got it from you. <laughs> I've been over here on lockdown ever since the cop has got a hold of some shoes, but they ain't my shoes because I ain't got no shoes. I ain't got no shoes. Oh my God, Joey, you're killing it. What's going on? You have anything you want to talk about tonight? I mean, I gotta. Are you gonna let me do a minute or not? Come on hey. now. Joey No Shoes about to do a minute. Start the clock, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you. You know him as the lead guitarist of the best damn band in the land. For his first ever time performing stand up comedy. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's Chroma Chris, aka Joey No Shoes. Oh my god, wow. How? Oh boy, I didn't know I was going to get called up. <laughs> I put my name in the bucket every week. Tony never calls me. All right, let me see. Okay. My pot dealer is now also selling pans. If you're looking, I know somebody. My Jewish friend went out on Sunday and got completely hammered. His name was Jesus Christ. Hold on, if, if you think about it, Hitler was just on a juice cleanse. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Tony. Yeah. Hey, Tony, did you hear about the corona outbreak at the circus? No, what happened? It was intense. Hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> hey, you can use that one next time you open for Rogan. Thank you. I will do. Will do. Uh, hey. Yeah. So my... <laughs> So my girlfriend was showing me some world star videos. Yeah. 
If a black person says, say that to me one more time, don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> All right, wow. I got one more. Okay, so I got one more. So I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I do think Columbine was an inside job. Wow, in typical, typical Kill Tony fashion. <laughs> Absolutely. Joey No Shoes! Joey No Shoes! I got no shoes! Wow. <laughs> Out of absolutely nowhere, with perhaps the set of the night, in character, dressed to the tees, with the Ryan J. E. belts perfectly framed behind him. He's got no shoes, the fucking guy. Incredible Chroma Chris. Perhaps the I just set had of the to night. Spread, I just had to spread a little my uh, Chroma virus. Chroma. Oh, yeah, Chroma Chris. That's right, of course, indeed. I love this guy. The band is uh, so excited. Everybody's smiling ear to ear in this room. We're so proud of you. We miss you so much. If the studio was perhaps four and a half, six, six feet bigger, uh, for the listener, six feet bigger, we would have you in here without a doubt. And uh, we absolutely love you and miss you. And what a great way for you to pop in like a goddamn fucking star in the night. This is incredible, Chroma. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you guys for letting me call in. We I miss love you. everybody. We miss you. There he is, the legend, Chroma Chris, everyone. Chris. See you, everybody. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Hey, look at that, Ryan J. E. Bell. Whoa. Wow. wow. Look at that. Dang. Oh, my goodness. Get Ryan, close. Ryan J., get closer there. Look what we got. We got Vinny. <laughs> we got wow. Lucia. Wow. Hey. Rock <laughs> There he is. Because you right. In the mob menace of Gino and Vito. We got wow. the Death Squad Kitty there. We got me with a cool microphone on that. Like, a piece of paper. That's a dildo. <laughs> Big Pyro, David <laughs> Lucas. The Blunt, Michael Lair. So they're gangster names. The Judge, William Montgomery. Oh, that's sick. That's great. Like Where's Red Man at? Guess I'm the cat. He's the cat. Red band's the cat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because he's it's a blue pussy. <laughs> like uh blue like, waffle. Like blue wall. Blue yeah. waffle. There we go. It is. I love that. Ryan J, how you doing? You holding up, buddy? Oh uh, yeah, I guess I'm holding up, all right. <laughs> Can we see you? Are you naked or <laughs> my god. Did you cut yourself for that red paint? <laughs> Hey! Was that scary? It's like a, it's like a family reunion. I know. It's so good to see everybody's faces. It is. How are you doing, buddy? Man, your beard looks. Did you dye your beard? It looks you great. have a nice beard right now. Look at that fucking thick ass no. beard. No, it just naturally. God damn it! Look at that! Look at that! You have great camera work there. <laughs> Incredible what's happening here. Ryan J, how's uh how's life going? What you been doing to pass the time? I've been I've been watching Ryan J. He's been doing some awesome Instagram yes. lives. Uh he where he will uh paint and draw things right in front of you just out of nowhere. Mind boggling fucking art. We have yeah, great that's, that's what I've been doing late at night when uh, I'm done with everything else I've been trying to do. Sometimes me, you, and Danny a couple times. Danny, the main room sound uh, guy who does lights and sound for, or, um, yeah, the lights and sound for the main room. Um, legend of the comedy store, one of the longest tenured employees there. Um, and uh, we've like all like sort of hung out in your Instagram lives while you're drawing. We'll catch up and talk about movies and shit like that. It's really cool. Uh, Anything else, Ryan, other than the sales going on at RyanJBelt.com? Anything else we should know about? Well, I mean, there's uh, there's something new in the shop. That's right. Ryan J made a new Kill Tony shirt. Have you guys seen this? No. Geez. There's a brand new Kill Tony oh, shirt, RyanJEbelt.com. It's the only place to get it. Very limited, limited edition. So it's awesome. Yeah. To see it, you have to go to RyanJEbelt.com. Maybe you guys can bring that up, right? Look at this. Where's it at? Is it on there yet, Ryan? It's a real it's Kill Tony shirt. It's in the store. Shirt. It should be on the front page, or you can hit the uh, Kill Tony. It should bring it up. 
Hit the kilt and it should bring it up. Oh, what is that? Is it there? It should be there. Is, that one, is it that uh, one? To the right. Of yeah, the there it is. There it is. Look at that. It's like a poster, but it's on a shirt. You can kill two birds with one stone. Oh, there it is. Get yourself the Kill Tony voodoo. Oh, and the your link website crashed. The link isn't working. Everybody's on it right now. What about, the what about the select options button on that? Maybe that'll work. The one underneath yeah. it. Nope. Yes. Website crashed. Uh, Got to get off that angel fire. Is that sh what what website company do you use to, for that? It's a uh, oh. Got to get on squarespace.com slash kill Tony. Anyway, it's all good. There's a new shirt out there. It'll be it'll be fixed within hours. Look how serious of a man Ryan J.E. Belt is. He's literally uh, he has smoke coming out of his ears. You He's so buy mad the that shirt the link. Now. <laughs> Please buy the shirt. He just announced that the shirt is for sale, and we found out that the link doesn't work. Meanwhile, Michael Lairs just sold four skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan J, we love you. The shirt's up, ryanjebelt.com. Very limited edition. There's a whole sale going on. Posters, shirts, everything's there. Your favorite print from your favorite city or your favorite episode, ryanjebelt.com, all one word. And that's another episode of Kill Tony. I had a lot of fun tonight. This was fun. Sam, Sarah, Omar, Matt, Kevin, Stacy, Michael, David, William, and Michael. We did it. Special thanks to Anthony and Gage back there in the booth. Shout out to Betterbox. Thank you again, Gino. Go get a candle at gooddamnco.com. Vito's Pizza. Thank you to Charlie for keeping us all filled up with literally, I'm not lying. It is the best pizza in Los Angeles without a fucking doubt. Don't let anybody lie to you. Tell you that there's some janky New York pizza place in LA. There's not. It's Vito or die. Um... And that's it. That's another episode of Kill Tony. Let's check in with the band, everybody. Jeremiah Watkins, the leader of the band, every single episode for years now. He is on uh, he's on YouTube at Jeremiah Watkins. He's got a new episode of Jeremiah Wonders out. Who's your guest this week? Tim Dillon. Whoa, bringing in the heat. Hello. Instead of booking some like big janky celebrities, you're bringing in just the fucking funniest people. The now. goods. That's right. Tim Dillon, without a doubt, will be recognized as the greatest stand-up comedian of all time one day. You heard it right here. I've said it before. I'll say it again. He will be known. 20 years from now, there's not going to be, they're not going to be talking about Chappelle. They're not going to be talking about any of the white guys. If I said their names, I'd get in trouble because people would like tweet your Instagram at those guys, right? Do you hear what Tony Hinchcliffe said about you? No. Tim Dillon is going to be fun known as funnier than everybody. He's on Venmo. Disgusting that he does this every week. He has no barometer for what desperation looks At like. At Jeremiah Dash Watkins on Venmo. It's disgusting. Do not can, send him can, money. Can I just say it's that people? Disgusting. Can I just say that people are already bullying me on Venmo? And and Gray Morrison sent me a message that said, "Go buy yourself some followers," and he gave me a dollar. Yeah, I mean you should be bullied. It's it's very sad. Did How you much for your soul? How much for two percent of your soul? I don't know. Is there a hit out on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> An unbelievable episode tonight. One of my favorite characters she's ever done. Guys, let's all clap our hands for Jesse Johnson. She was Lucia the whole time, believe it or not. <laughs> Jesse's at Jetski Johnson on social media. I love this performance tonight. Anything else we should know about Jesse? Just support your local artists. I think big business is doing great right now, and they will continue to do great. So if you have any extra spending money or can find a way to spend what you're looking for with local artists, Go find them and support them that way. There you go. There's Jesse Johnson. How about you, Joelberg? Joel Jimenez. He's the backbone, everybody. Joelberg. What up? What's up? Nothing. Joel? I love you guys. Happy to be doing this for you guys every week. Thanks for watching. Oh, Joelberg makes a little cameo on the Tim Dillon episode. Oh, he does? Yep. What are you doing on? What's, what's he might that? be playing some drums and uh, jamming with uh, one of our friend uh, of the show's uh, Darwin. Darwin started the band, I guess, is what I hear. So. Wow. I'm doing a, uh, on 420, which is a week from today, I'm doing, we're going to be here doing an episode, of course, but before that, there is a massive, uh, one of those online festivals taking place. Wiz Khalifa is on it. Joey Diaz is on it. I'm on it. I'm going to be, uh, for 10 minutes at some point between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., roasting 
the day of 420. I'm making fun of uh, making fun of pot culture and things like that for 420 uh, and Weed Maps special comedy festival. That's weedmaps.com slash 420. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. And Doing check a lot out of video the, games at Red Band on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Red Band, uh, doing VR, playing a lot of walkthroughs. Also, uh, check out the Kill Tony. Uh, we released uh, not only that documentary, but uh, we remastered the first one and, and it has Dom Herrera and, and Ron White. Like, cause we were talking about him, but you couldn't really see or hear him when we did that. And so check that out also. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, the first quarantine episode from the Ice House. And yep. yes, check out Roadkill. And thanks again to Jeremy up in Rabbit View. Uh, uh, and he's from Canada. And uh, there, that Vancouver episode two will be dropping soon. Really uh, interesting um, behind the scenes footage of your favorite live podcast, Kill Tony. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.